The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture of you with me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. Mm-hmm. Alongside me, as usual, I have possibly my best friend in the entire world. Just so happens to be the best DEI hire of all time. Please welcome back Mr. J.P. Uh, uh, that's a great one. And then also, ladies and great gentlemen. Great intro. Yeah. <laughs> also, ladies and gentlemen, he is the very funny and surprise guest because Derek kind of bitched out. Please welcome back Mr. Steve Peters. <laughs> Scotty woke up and chose violence today. <laughs> yeah. Like 100%. Pretty sure he did. I might have. Pretty sure. I might have. Hmm. But anyways, welcome into another great episode. We've got a we've got a dandy for you guys today. We got yeah. a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. There we've we go. got uh, some individual questions for myself and JP uh, that we're going to get to very early. What? Yeah, yeah. But Shut uh, up. yeah, you, they have like what? Yeah, like oh, personalized yeah. questions just for just you for JP, and one question just for me. But no questions just for me? No, oh, I didn't see any. People well, really it's don't. been a good run. Yeah, it's been <laughs> All right. Good run. Uh, we'll see you guys for later. Me, for I'm me out. Yeah. Nope. But if this is the very first time you've ever listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes, period. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language mm. and offend people with very thin skin. So if that's mm. you... I'm fucking offended. <laughs> you're in the wrong place. Get the I'm fuck out of here. I, I'm, I'm offended. And if you haven't already, guys, do us a favor. If you are not already subscribed, trust me, you'll have a lot of fun if you do. Uh, and if you could, <laughs> what helps out the show, or at least the cheapest way to help out the show, is to leave us a like and leave us a comment. And if you have any questions in the comments, leave it there. We or Venmo that. me five thousand dollars because right. we, we need that would it. help too. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I I don't think it's weird that the DEI hire is offended. <laughs> oh, well, good. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. Uh, it's we, not. We have some hot topics this week. Uh, oh, never have I ever. Shit. That's where I draw Can't the wait. line. Questions and preguntas is always a draft, and we wrap things up with a shitty situation. But first, we'd like to talk about what happened to us over the last week. And Mr. JP, you get to go first. How much bowling happened? No bowling, man. I'm off what? for the next couple weeks. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're yeah. going to lose it. Fall leagues will start here pretty soon. Nah, I'll never lose it, man. I'm that good. Mm-hmm. Um, I smoked a lot of pot, played some video games, worked. Mm-hmm. Went to the car show on Saturday. How was that? A lot really bad. Really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What in the fuck, I don't dude? Know. There were so many cars there that were just like normal shit cars. You would see driving like down a '92 <laughs> Nissan Sentra or some shit. That's yeah. awesome, dude. There I was love literally it. like an '80. It was a DEI car show. <laughs> like it was. It was like an '88 or '89 S10. Nice. That was, it looked like an 88 S10, <laughs> like nobody had taken care of it. And it had a 350 in it. <laughs> I love that. Whoopty fuck. That's great. Yeah. But the three, it was, it was a little quick. No, probably <laughs> not. By looking at it, I'm guessing no. Uh, it looked like it hadn't been touched in fucking 10 years. Dude, it used to be a car show was like a beautiful like piece of art yeah. sitting there you know and now it's like oh, now it's all just, right buddy dude, i brought my truck like the the best cars like they had some supercars and shit like they're there mm-hmm. but those were from vendors like selling that ceramic coat paint oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah they yeah. had a whole bunch of ferraris and lamborghinis and they had oh. two uh cyber trucks mm. okay 
Those things are pieces of shit. Dude, no. I'm not, I just, I'm not oh, a big they're fan. Oh, they're trash, no. dude. I would never own one. Never. You, you know me in electric mm. vehicles, but. No way. I still it's, think they're pretty rad. They're not, man. Just saying. Have you ever seen one in yes, person? They're yes. ugly I've never been fuck. in one. I've seen them. I've just never been in one. Dude, there was, there was one on the highway that was like murdered out. It was Can all Can you black. imagine what oh. a fucking cool vehicle you could get for 130 grand? Dude. Oh, sure. I saw a Much bunch of. better than that. I yes. saw a bunch of guys shine up all the stainless steel to where it looked like cro- can you imagine driving down the fucking street when <laughs> it's sunny everyone. outside people yeah. just fucking yeah, dude. dude that'd be amazing yeah. what a dick <laughs> <laughs> I like, love it fuck everybody I'm, I'm yeah, just that's just was, uh, that's super tool like move is yeah. what that yeah. is it was that real was disappointing great. man Douche. I did hear that there were some cool cars there were yeah, I, I really, obviously but not like but Not many. They were asking me. They were like, come on. Don't you want to go to a car show? It's like, I deal with cars every day. <laughs> Dude, there was. <laughs> that is no. true. That is true. There no. was like a 94 Chevy fucking short bed. Mm-hmm. And it looked. You remember when Mako used to have that? Yeah. Your whole car yeah. for 500 yeah. bucks? Yeah. That's what it looked like. They went to Mako. Earl Scheib is 150. Right. <laughs> so. Dude, and it was it had a big old fucking for sale sign on it, make offer, yada yada. I was like, Jesus Christ, who in their right mind? There were people looking at it. I was like, what Give the me two hundred dollars yeah, and I'll take this yeah, off your hands. Right, you got to pay me yeah. for this one. But so yeah, let me let crazy. me like detail up my F one fifty and dude, go and park it. <laughs> yeah, dude, they yeah. were they were there. I know. No way. Yes. Are you worse, serious? worse, like older F one fifties. Oh my, nothing done to them. There was not, like, a big motor in it. There was not, like, a fucking... It was just a fucking old-ass F-150. Like, there was three or four of those. Yeah, nothing. Dude, it was was really weird. Uh, A bunch of shitbox lowriders that were were fucking custom fucking done by people that obviously didn't know what they were fucking doing. Yep. It was was bad, man. And I think uh, there's a guy that actually lives just south of Wichita. I want to say his name is Wes. I can't remember. I, mm-hmm. He's very, very big on YouTube. And he yeah, fucking took Yeah, about. I know who you you're know talking, who talking about. about? Yeah, yeah. So he actually put, put a fucking Cummins diesel inside of a fucking Mustang. Was he on this show? No. What show was I on with that guy? I can't remember. I was going to say it wasn't this one. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But then he pulls into my dealership one day, mm-hmm. and this fucking like turbo diesel is leaking like a fucking sieve. Uh oh. Oh yeah. But but he knew that. But it's it's since been fixed. But yeah, he he's the he's the dude that threw a fucking Cummins diesel into a Mustang. So, Holy shit. Yeah. That's and awesome. There's, and there's a fucking video that's the, and there I am. I'm in the video, and I'm just like. Fuck! I don't want them to know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I love it. Anyways. Well, all right. Uh, so. so, but obviously, we actually had a question, and you, you already know because you commented on this fucking question. Oh, I did. Uh huh. Specifically from you, because we actually do have the comedy show. I swear to God, Steve, I'll kick you if you keep on. Doing well, I was just point of point of uh, point of. I don't know what that is. What is it? Point of order? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I have an I, announcement to make. I, I did not do my week, week recap, but that's I know. fine. We're I know you're getting... excited about your well, little no, question. We're, we're so getting that's... to you next. You're coming next, dude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a good run. <laughs> and I appreciate all of you out there that, that love me on the show. Um, but this shit's coming to an end. <laughs> it's... it's... <laughs> So it's going down in flames. I thought it was really fucking funny that uh, this week um, we we well, we have the comedy show that's coming right around the corner. It's going to be yeah. August eighteenth. Uh, it'll be at Central Standard Brewery here in Wichita. That will Kansas. be the day I win a comedy show. Hey, it could possibly happen. But what's really funny is whose whose bracket are you in? Aren't you in Derek's? Yep, pretty sure you are. I don't know. Steve, Derek, and uh, some chick. I think. Yep. And then uh, JP. Some chick. I'm sorry, <laughs> whoever you are, if you're listening. Uh, but anyways, there was a, a fan. Okay, so here. you actually have two questions, all right? Okay. And actually, this is kind of for both of you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, Jason Westhafer. He's just saying that. Actually, I know. Jason He's just being nice. Just, uh, yeah. Jason Westhafer. Jason Wa- That's West a buddy of mine. Okay. He wants so to know. fuck you, Steve. This yeah, me, Derek, you. me, Derek, and Shauna Blake. There you go. 
Uh, but he or wanted, Balake. He wanted I to know, ask. I think it's Balake. What are some good punishment ideas for the lowest finisher of this comedy co- uh, contest? So what are we doing to Derek? He has to wear <laughs> Daisy Duke. What can we do to Derek that Derek isn't already doing to himself? To be <laughs> no honest. Shit. He, he did want to be here, except uh, his wife has been out of town for, and he hadn't seen her in, for over a week. And so he asked if, if, uh, if he could not mm. do the show this week, last minute. And you but said yes? What a pussy. I immediately called you and was like, I, was, I would much rather have Steve on than Derek anyway. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I, I'm just kidding. I love no. you both. I feel like you're not. But do you have any good <laughs> ideas? For, it seems like no. What do you not want to do, JP? Because I, I have all confidence in the world that you're going to do I'll do whatever good. you want. I, I'm, if I I'm, lose, I'm sure you will. <laughs> I will. Yeah, that's that's a little tough because Derek's like, oh, Dick, all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's not. Fuck. He's un. Yeah, I, I don't know. You tell me what you want me to do, I'll do it. So, but I don't plan on losing. So. I, I agree. I'm not worried about you. That's why I asked, what, what are we going to have Derek do? Um, because if there's anything that Derek hates, like so much losing (laughs) that's one but two it's having to dress up and do something he doesn't want to do so like if he has to wear like some form of punishment he is going to be absolutely furious so that's what we need to figure out what he needs to wear okay i think daisy dukes are in order yeah i I think that would be absolutely Um, fantastic i mean he is losing a lot of weight you know what we could do we could have him wear white socks shit Oh. Or uh, either White Sox, or I bet we can get. I bet Eric, or fucking Cardinal yeah, stuff. Eric will get us a fucking Green Bay jersey. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, that'd be Green fun Bay too. Jersey. All right, I like it. I like uh, all an of Aaron Rodgers jersey. He would hate oh, that. God, oh, it would love it. He would hate that. It would kill him because they're so politically correct. And he was a Green Bay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what would be worse if he had to wear an Aaron Rodgers jersey or a Kansas Jayhawks basketball jersey. Ooh, I don't think I don't think he would too. agree to the Kansas jersey. I don't either. Really. I don't I don't think he'd agree to any of it. I don't, I don't know that he'd, he'd agree to the Green Bay either. jersey, but he damn sure isn't wearing a Kansas jersey. <laughs> there that's true. No he way. That's there true. ain't no way. I give you that. Uh, but anyways, the we other- could just have him go topless. That's bad enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he hates. He hates taking off his shirt. Yeah, hey. we wanted to shame him, not fuck up everybody else. Yeah, fuck up <laughs> everybody else's week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna start puking on that's the show. That's the third kid that puked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but the other question, which is specifically for JP, he wants to know. This is Devin McDonald. He wants to know, according to JP, what's the best way to get high on weed? <sighs> the best way. Well, what do you mean there's different ways? Is oh, yeah. You just smoke it, right? You, you can't inject weed. We, well, you can do this. You can shotgun it. But what I like to do is shotgun it straight into the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. It makes it tingly. It's just like with there. alcohol. If you butt chug it, like, you yeah. get drunk so faster. That's, that's, like my, that's this my is solid answer. science. Shotgun, yeah. it right, science. shotgun it right to the butthole there, Devin. Solid. Would you solid prefer... Here's the, here's the question. To be the shotgun or the gunner? <laughs> or what, yeah. I would prefer to have... <laughs> Be the one blowing it into the butthole. <laughs> I would prefer, but I would do the other as well. If that's if it's a deal breaker, we'll switch it up. Okay, so normally when I see you smoke pot, it's by using a pipe. Correct. Do you prefer pipe or bong or... Just a pipe. You prefer a pipe? Because I'm an old white man, and that's what we <laughs> smoke out of. I don't like... I mean, I used to smoke a lot of blunts, man. Yeah. Because... Mm-hmm. I just did. You remember and, White Owls? Oh, yeah. For a paper? Oh, yeah. That was back in my day. Yeah. Well, that's been a minute. Good shit. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Any, anyways. Okay. There's your answer. Yeah. Uh, but now we get to move on to Mr. Steve Peters and your week, week. That was a two-hour week, week, week. <laughs> that was a long time to say I didn't do anything but get high. Hey. That's that's why uh, we have these questions for JP specifically. I didn't do shit. I had to bartend two nights, and it sucked. And uh, well, thank God we got back to him. <laughs> <laughs> and and then I I don't know. I'm drinking French wine though. Yeah, like look this. at that. Yeah, trying to get my dick bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I can help with that. I think that that's what happens. I think there's something in the wine over there. Uh-huh. I, there so must be. Uh, Could possibly be. Yeah. So I'm drinking French wine <laughs> exclusively, now exclusively now. <laughs> yeah, no water, no soda, just French, just wine. French wine all the time until and it's started training until in the pole vault. Monstrous. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's grown another 
I don't know, five inches. So I'm up. To, I'll be up to seven at that point. Attaboy. So it's then I'll stop. Yeah. But until then, it's just an IV of French wine. Yeah. How's the wife doing? Doing good. That's we were good. excited that she was going to be done with chemo, and then we were told she's not going to be done with chemo. She's got two more rounds, and then she has mm-hmm. to wait a month, and then she has to go talk to the surgeon, and then she has to get surgery, and then she has to do more chemo, and then she might have to do radiation. Yes. <laughs> that sucks. Not good. It was kind of a stab in the fucking nuts. Yeah. For sure. Well, butthole for her. Whatever. Yeah. Same thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anything else did you do that was kind of fun? Not really. Not really. Did no, you done any comedy like like lately? Uh-uh. Nothing. I haven't, dude. I just ever since she got diagnosed, I just kind of put everything on I hold. Feel real funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. Funny. I mean, I wrote jokes about her, but <laughs> yeah, right. I know. I did write a joke about uh, the uh, what was it? Oh, I wrote a joke about Jimmy Carter the other day. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, his family said that he can't wait to vote for Kamala Harris. <laughs> and I said, that's awesome. But if he dies before he can vote for Kamala Harris, knowing the Democrats will get to vote for her a lot more times. <laughs> I don't care who you are. I think that's fucking hilarious. It is. That's uh, awesome. That is great. All right. Um, but any, you got anything coming up other than this? Uh, Just the CSB show? thing, man. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's pretty cool. Um, actually, uh, Travis Cagle has given us the opportunity to. Shut up. Yeah. To actually give away two oh. tickets uh, to this old ordeal, uh, which it sounds like I think a majority of us are going to be there. Um, I, I don't. I haven't heard of Jeremy Joseph. Who's will be paying there, for the tickets? I'm not. Well, no. Uh, <laughs> it's we, coming out of your salary, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> 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 We technically have them, but I need to get with uh, uh, JP and figure out a good um, contest or something like that. I don't know. Okay. Best, I think if they best, best comment, pick. No. <laughs> best Absolute, dick pick. Absolutely not. Gets two uh, tickets. But it is here in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, but You got to have today's newspaper so I know it's really you. You know what? How about this? <laughs> I want, I want like, I have like best, best comment on this, on this uh, week's episode and sure. on, on the YouTube channel. I wish here's my comment oh my for this goodness. week's episode. We need a different fucking desk, man. I feel like we're sitting at the bar and <laughs> just like this the whole time. Like, why can't we have something that goes this way? So eventually so we can just look across. We can see what's going on. So eventually we're actually going to have an, uh, an actual uh, couch with a coffee table. Go and, back to the last five episodes. Yeah. No. And we've talked about this. I was not here. No, I'm no. Sorry. But don't worry, it's coming. It's when, coming. whenever I fall into a when, a, a when lot is of when is money. furniture on consignment delivering said couch so that whenever, we can be comfortable. Dude, dude, you know, couches are fucking expensive. They're is, not. We have free one. Is the gold coming off of your belt? No. The fuck it isn't. No, it's just it's just oh, it's just stained. It's, yeah, it's right. it's just reflected. But anyway, um, so that's your week. Come stain yeah, gold. That's, it. that's all I got. <laughs> all right, I didn't do shit. Uh, my 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 week was actually not that great. Unfortunately, I have a lot of family that's coming into town. My grandmother is probably on her last leg, which is not good. Uh, but I did get to see a lot of family members that I haven't seen for a really long time, um, and that was that was nice. So it is kind of. But my grandmother's also like ninety two years old. She she's she's been doing kind of rough and so it's a very rough part of uh of my week but uh now because uh, football season's coming right around the corner i am already prepping for fantasy football which <clears throat> i think a lot of us uh that are into fantasy football have started to do that whoops my belt's falling down um but <laughs> that's how he's starting to prep yeah <laughs> oh right. it's coming fantasy football i can't wait oh, oh. It's, it's so true i can't really play but i can bet on these guys oh, <laughs> i love it Oh, fuck. And I'm very good at it already. Dude. Yeah, you're so, great, dude. I, I you're am. great at fake football. I am you great at fucking I, I am, awesome. I'm great at fake football. Good that's, for you, That's dude. one thing I, I really That's am, awesome. Am, I'm, hey, I'm glad to see that you're good at something. Ah, you thanks, know what I mean? Man. I appreciate that. That means a lot to me. <laughs> you bet. Um, but yeah, man, really, other than that, I, I haven't really been doing a whole hell of a lot. I was really wanting to go and shoot this weekend, but I couldn't. And I'm starting to find out that. Guns are fucking expensive, <laughs> and uh, hey, yeah, yeah. So, but uh, but yeah, we're we're doing good. Uh, but other than that, uh, I did have a question come in for 
What the fuck is that? Oh, I was just playing some sad emotional oh. music for your. <laughs> I thought you were going to keep going. Oh. <laughs> I was going to try and bring it down no, a little bit further. Keith, Jesus. Keith Litsky asked a question. He he wanted to know within the next five years, what am I going to be spending the most money on? Who and, is that question addressed uh, to? Keith Keith Litsky. He he wants to know if I'm going to be spending more money addressed to you on, personally. Yeah, yeah on yeah, snowboarding on snowboarding golf or guns. I didn't get one of those. What do you think the correct answer is for that, there, Steve? <laughs> Guns, one hundred percent guns. Not even I mean, close. you've seen Scotty's what, made a far turn, you've, turn a, a fucking flat turn here yeah. in the last four weeks. Uh, it was has. a ninety degree turn to the right. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, just uh, here's the deal. <laughs> if we've if 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 you've been watching the stock market the past few days, <laughs> I think guns are a good investment. Yeah, like that's right uh, buy ammo while you can. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, so yeah. there's ninety that. what ninety two days now, ninety three mm. or ninety two days until the election. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. That's when it all be fun. goes south. Yeah. So uh, yeah, but also do is not France south. It is east. Well, then east. Well, it it's is. southeast. Southeast. It's southeast. Okay. Good. Yeah. 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 Uh, but if you have not already, please go and check out the GoFundMe for Will Gonzalez. Um, he still does have it up. We still have the link on our Facebook and our uh, Twitter, Instagram. We should Zoom them. call him in. Um, I I have had history. <laughs> How do we do that? I, I have had How a bad do history. We of can't having, do any of yeah, that. Yeah, we, we can't oh. do any of that. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> want, yeah. Everything about this thing is starting to suck. Zoom calling in people Look, it's been really a good sucks. run. And I've had a lot of fun while I was here. <laughs> I just don't know how much farther it's going to go. <laughs> yeah. And I just want to thank all my fans. And, oh, go ahead. You're the favorite. Well, I don't know. You are, buddy. Oh, you're the favorite. You are the favorite. You are the favorite. You are. My mom's favorite, too. Uh-huh. Yeah. But go check out Will, um, Will Gonzalez's Uncles GoFundMe. Too. It's on Facebook go. and, twi- and Twitter. <laughs> But now we get to move on to... JP was the what? only kid that got fucking molested by his uncles, and he was like, yeah, can I have some more of that? <laughs> <laughs> he let me suck his dick! Oh, my God. <laughs> First time I ever met Sorry. JP, he told Sorry. me that. It's, yeah, it's yeah. okay. Yeah, 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 thanks, there. buddy. It's all coming back to me now. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. But now we get to move on to hot topics and... Uh, oh, the, are they hot? Are they hot? They are fucking spicy. Ladies and gentlemen... Football Spicy. is back on the menu. Oh shit! Sorry. Football, kind of preseason Not football. Really. It's too, dude. I can't watch football when it's on. Here's the deal. I don't know how people in Florida like watch football. My yeah, favorite fart. Of, my, uh, my favorite, favorite fart? fart. My favorite part. <laughs> and this French wine my, is the shit. Exactly. <laughs> my favorite part of football is when it's like snowing outside yes. and you made like dip and shit yeah. and you're just hunkered down inside, getting completely shit face drunk, <laughs> screaming at your team, putting in a $5 parlay or whatever on drafts. <laughs> I just teams. imagine you taking a fucking... Dude, it's so amazing. Like, that is the best. That's the fuck yeah, yeah. winner other than that. Yeah. Like, that's all you get. I love you know? He's got one beer cup and one cheese dip cup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shots from both of them, for sure. <laughs> and it's... It, it's already getting fucking crazy, but, like... It's hotter than balls outside right now. It's so right hot, now. dude. It's 105. And they got... It's preseason, when, and we've always said it doesn't fucking matter. Preseason's right. bullshit. It, it doesn't. It's at least nice to be able to turn it on, but I'm not going to lie to you. It's I'm, like I'm Seinfeld. Not, it's good it. background noise, <laughs> yeah. and I might pay attention every once in a while, yeah. but I'm not into it. Until you know what I mean? Until it snows, I'm not in, I'm not in, interested, but that's beside yeah. the point. Um, but yeah, so there was, did you see, did you hear about the Pittsburgh Steelers, the two quarterbacks fighting each other? Fields and Russell Wilson. And Wilson. Shut the fuck up. Are you serious? Dead serious. Yeah. No way. They (laughs) they fought, fought. Yeah. I did not hear that. Oh yeah. It looked, it looked like. The last thing I heard was that Fields was fucking killing it. Like uh, doing really well. He still is. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. but they're going to start Russell Wilson. Of course they are. They're going what? to start Russell Wilson. <laughs> All right. Uh, they, they they got him for As a nothing. Broncos fan, I can tell you that is a mistake. It's a <laughs> horrible, <laughs> horrible mistake. That is a mistake. Hey, he started turning it on at the end of the season last no, year. No, he didn't. Nope. He never has. That's nope. fine. All right. But we have that. And I know there's some other stuff in sports, but pretty much the... Uh, Whole week has been nothing but the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. Can I just say one thing about this segment here? Sure. Um, remember when we used to watch the Olympics and we were like, USA, USA, <laughs> and we just rooted and we wanted to know who won how many medals and yeah, stuff yeah. like that? 
I feel like the Olympics has now become an episode of Big Brother. <laughs> like, there's so much fucking drama. Yeah. I've never seen this it's much. Awful, I man. never have. It's I've awful. never seen it's this awful. much drama. Like, like they didn't have to have the drama to sell it. People wanted to enjoy it. Yeah. And now, no, I, I, like, I haven't even fucking watched it. I don't care. I enjoyed pole you vaulting know? and diving. That's, <laughs> that's what that's, I was going to get at. That is the reason I am drinking these I wine. Love wee that, wee. I love those two. I just learned how to spink French, too. Did you and hear I'm, that? I'm, yeah. I did yeah. the wee. Wee. Now I need to. I need to put a. Uh, need a fund, I need to put a GoFundMe together to earn enough move money to, to move to France. <laughs> I love it. Holy moly! Yeah, French pole vaulter Anthony Amoretti oh. or whatever his name is misses out on final because his dick hit the bar. Okay, that's kind of a fun story. It like is. that's great. But then the next story that you scroll down to is about some guy that raped a kid, and then the next story, <laughs> yeah, the next story that you scroll down to after that is the fucking triathletes swimming in the Seine River, or however you say oh it. Oh my puking god! Puking their balls off. That? One of them has E. coli now. Like, dude, it's just one fucked up thing after yes. another. Like, why that. can't we just? So they delayed. I don't know. The, it's wild. They delayed it, it this is. fucking event because of the yeah. pH level yep. in the in the river. Yep. And there's so much shit, was like literal like shit so bad. in it. Yeah, and shit. And so then they delayed it a day because basically I, the Arkansas River in downtown Wichita in would have been a better well, option. Well, that because everything shits in the river. Well, it's, not dude. Every, it's France. <laughs> well, <laughs> everybody true. in France hey, shits. I'm not everywhere. gonna lie. I did see a dude shit in the river once downtown. I'm not gonna lie. I, I I've seen it happen. Oh, okay. I, I, I've seen tons of people shit in the Tigris and the Euphrates. <laughs> yeah, the Euphrates. But, uh, I shit in there all the time. I've landed at Charles de Gaulle before, and you can tell you're getting close because when you're on the descent, you can smell it already oh, yeah. <laughs> before Fantastic. you actually land. That's awesome. Yeah, it's and, great. Like seriously, there's like uh, people here in in Wichita. We have like the river festival where they try to clean it up as best as they possibly can. It's still not yeah. good. Still There's not just dead good. fish <laughs> floating it's around disgusting. everywhere. It's gross. That's it's bad. basically it's what bad. happened over at and the people Olympics. People get in there. Yes. And that's exactly what happened to these never. fucking athletes. Yeah. No. I could never. Yeah. Absolutely ever. not. Absolutely Dude, they, not. I mean, that lady, there was one lady talking about it. She was like, I swallowed things I should have never swallowed. Yeah, I was for like, sure you I did. was like, you freaky little baby. Come on over here, girl. <laughs> like, that was, no. I mean, it was, uh, it was, uh, uh, it Not was good. It's it's just like I said. It's just one thing after another, and it kind of started like in the the Sochi deal, like Russia. Sure, yeah. you know where now there's so much more focus on the drama than there is on the athleticism and the athletes and stuff like that. Like what what? Why aren't we talking about the beds made of cardboard that they didn't want the athletes to fuck on or whatever? <laughs> like that's kind of fun, you know. I honestly didn't hear about that. That's great. They say it's, it's awesome. just because they're sustainable. And they can get know. rid of them. Uh, because what would you do with that many beds afterwards if you fucking bought everybody a real bed? You know what I mean? Well, like, what? You the could throw them into the Syene River. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, up people are bullshit. shitting there anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. But, like, no, uh, I, I wasn't going to bring this fucking up, but the no. Olympics is such a fucking scam. It is. Well, yeah, it is. It is such a fucking it's scam. It's like every other big organization. Yep. It's a money grab, dude. Oh, b by far. Like, have you seen all of these other cities that have yes. had the Olympics? Oh. And then it's just abandoned. Dude, yeah. it's such a piece of shit afterwards. It's yeah. gone. Yes. It's just done. Yeah. Because yeah. what are you going to use it for? Huh? Nothing right. other than the Olympics. Right. And so it, <laughs> and then it's not like it comes and apart. And it's not like they're building like $100,000 fucking metal buildings. These yeah. are like fucking multi-million dollar, Billion dollar architectural yep. fucking. Yes. It's crazy. And they yeah. have to look all the, architectural yeah, because it's because Olympics. We're representing our city. Yeah. 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 This and is then, what Paris is like. When is, it, <laughs> when is it in Los Angeles? It's in Los Angeles yeah. in 2020. Good luck with six, that. Right? How are I they think? ever going to get rid of the homeless? It's the next one. Uh, they will. They will. Right. They, I no, 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 no. You don't understand. No. President Xi came, or Xi, whatever the fuck his name is, came and visited San Francisco, and Gavin Newsom was like, get these motherfuckers off these yeah, streets right now. Right. And they were like, all right, you got to go. Let's yeah, fucking gotta go. Yeah, stop shitting. Yeah. And so, yeah, no. <laughs> Not they, in the they, river. They literally, and that was a big, you know, obviously the Republicans were like, oh, you can clean it up when the fucking Chinese yeah, right. guy is coming. But, and he's like, well, when someone comes to visit your house, you clean. <laughs> like, oh, all right, I kind of get what you're saying. I just want to know where they dumb. put them. <laughs> That, well, couple yes, couple they've never been over. seen again. Right. Okay. Back. No, right? No, they all went to China. They, they all it's went fine. right back. It's fine. After after he left, they yeah, all they, came they, right back. Yeah, they like put him in hotels and shit. Literally, yeah, like, look, like, we gotta and get they you put him in out of here nice. for a little bit. Yeah. dude, can you imagine? <laughs> You fucking paid seven hundred, eight hundred dollars a night for some, for some 
so <laughs> fucking in a jar Ritz Carlton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you walk outside and you're like, what the <laughs> fuck? And next door is some fucking dirty Mike and the boys homeless orgy. Just, just a piss fucking, jar sitting oh, outside dude, the door. That would be empty. fucking awful. <laughs> my, be awesome. my favorite part of this whole ordeal is when Gavin was talking about it because he was asked questions about it. Yeah. And he was just like, he was like, hey, I know it just looks like we are going to just clean this up because we have a guy coming in. And, it, and then he goes, and it is pretty much because pretty of much that. that. That's pretty much it. <laughs> like, you nailed what it. The fuck? Yeah. It's like, oh, nine more large chains <laughs> just left that area. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. But yeah. Yeah, back to it being a scam. Did you know how, guess how much money the athletes get for uh, participating so in the Olympics? I did see uh, a U.S. chick won gold medal. She got like $38,000 or something. And then some chick from, I want to say China, when got yeah. 780000 yeah, something that like too. that. Like, yeah. yeah, that was a huge. And I was like, wait a second. Where the so, fuck is our dollar not better than right. the yeah. yin or whatever the yang? Yeah. What, is, what is it? What yeah. do they use? Since what we, do they use? Yeah. So is it yen? Yen. 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 Yeah. yeah okay. Since we owe them more yen. <laughs> We then do. we have dollars that's, that is I fair think that's when that happened that is fair like can you imagine that dude, dude if you they go, just said hey that's like going on collect, vacation with your fucking fucked. degenerate cousin that owes you four trillion dollars and he's like hey man can and I you're like oh hey thanks for the beer you bought me with. you fucking yeah. asshole <laughs> yeah i like it yeah um but no what i meant was is like all of the olympics apparel and stuff that they're selling to fans and they are making a fuck oh, oh yeah, kill yeah. yeah. On it. yeah for sure athletes get nothing nope not a fucking look thing. at the ncaa the man look at the ncaa for the longest time the ncaa was this exactly. they made trillions oh, yeah. of and dollars off of football players care. basketball players the, all the athletes were paying to go to school there yeah like most yeah. of them exactly they had a exactly. few i mean you had it's some insane. scholarships and stuff yeah yeah uh, but I obviously I did want to bring up the uh, the United we got to figure out how to do that. Uh, what? What? You know, people to pay us for yeah. nothing. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> I was going to say slavery, but I stopped. Yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of what it is. You know, uh, go out there and fucking do what you're supposed to do. We're going to make all the money off right. of you. I did want to at least bring up. Um, They're kind of owned. Simone mm -hmm. Biles. Huh? huh? Yeah, she's she, badass. She's she badass. Did great. She did great. She fucking sucked it up this this yeah. olympics and yeah. didn't back out like she did last olympics good for her she had a valid yeah she, she had she had some stuff going Dude, i know okay. i know I'm it's just been kidding. a good run I'm just and i kidding. really appreciate all of you that are my fans <laughs> and that have stuck with me but uh <laughs> it's coming to an end but look i mean good things come to those who wait too yeah i mean she's yeah. a world-class athlete obviously she's she knew that stud, she dude. knew what she was capable of and wasn't capable of she knew what the environment was that she was in yeah she made the right decision and now she's fucking killing it the, like she's just killing it yeah she did great. great uh the women's rugby team ended up beating australia on a last second score could I, you with your vagina? <laughs> Whatever. I don't know what they say. Yeah, I don't know how that works. I don't know rugby, but I just think it's so fucking funny that the sports that we really don't even pay attention to in America. Those are the ones we're winning. They're, they're doing great. Meanwhile, we didn't do shit in shooting sports, which is... <laughs> Ladies, I heard. I don't remember Turkey who it did was. well. I don't remember who <laughs> that it is was, my, dude. That is my fucking hero. Dude, oh, I love that guy. I don't know who it was, but somebody said... The reason that we didn't do good in shooting sports is because you're aiming at a target, whereas here oh, in America fuck. we just spray until they until they stop moving. If that target <laughs> if that target would have been a kid, we <laughs> would have we would have won fuck. for sure. Yeah. It's so goddamn dark, but no, that whole deal with that guy from Turkey Duh, is, that the guy most, is amazing. He's the most gangster. Did fucking you hear dude. what he did? You hear what he said when he got when he was on the podium and they they let him speak. Uh -uh. Yeah. Sharon, if you can hear me, I want my dog back. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I love it. This, like, that guy's great. The dude shows Somebody up. Somebody better go check on Sharon. Yeah. There's, like, he shows up with no special equipment, which I didn't even know what kind of gun I that they use. I think it's an air gun, it, right? No, it's a, it's oh. an actual, it's a 22. Oh. It's a rimfire 22. Oh, okay. Well, that's easy. And, yeah, exactly. But, like, this dude has, no, I mean, he's got his hand in his pocket, which I guess you're supposed to. Oh, yeah. But then there's, there's, like, uh, the rifle yeah, yeah but did you see did you see the fucking weird glasses and shit that they put on yeah. and the fucking gloves yeah and it looks the, like some dragon oh, ball z craziness. bullshit and and i don't remember who win nor do i care but there was a rifle uh, um competition as well and this fucking japanese guy is fucking twisted oh yeah like yeah yeah, yeah. Yep. here's this one fucking turkey guy just like 
fuck <laughs> off. Yeah. It's so, it's so gangster. You are the main character of this story. Sure. I, I really loved watching. Well, it. So he started shooting very recently as a, as an outlet for his fucking divorce because his wife took his kids and he was pissed. He's a fucking wow. assassin. Yeah. He's a Turkish assassin. I is love what, it. Is what well, he, will, been, he will I, be soon. Dude, Probably. I've been to Istanbul and I kind of like not, Turkey. not Constantinople. No, I don't know what that is, but I've been <laughs> to Istanbul an old ass song. and I, I kind of like that place. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so shout out to that dude. That's fucking rad. Uh, but I did also want to mention <laughs> Kayla, oh, Ka- Katie Ledecky is a fucking Katie oh, Ledecky. She's so good. She is so good. Now, granted, so the 1500 meter freestyle, she not only beats the other girls, mm-hmm. she fucking kills him dude it was that one time where she was like done she went and had a sandwich and came back <laughs> and people were just now finishing yeah. like, it was bad it's, she's so fucking good yep she's uh, awesome. I, she so needs now, to marry fucking phelps, uh phelps, phelps, phelps and then they have like little dolphin babies. oh my god right <laughs> be awesome. their, their kids would definitely have fucking scales yes yeah, for sure uh, but the the last thing I'm going to bring up in the Olympics was we were talking about all this controversy and stuff like that. The dude who is a convicted fucking child rapist. What well, grape? 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 A grape? Grape? Purple grape? Grapefruit drinks? All of that stuff? Yeah. What? The, no, I'm just trying to not say the R word, dog. Why? It, it's I, what happened. YouTube's doesn't like it. They don't like us. Fuck YouTube. <laughs> right. But yes, this motherfucker. Uh, how did how did this motherfucker get in the Olympics? Can somebody fucking explain this to me, dude? I don't. He's not. It's, it, just, it's not like it was a. It's a mystery or anything. No, this guy is convicted. It was eight isn't years he from ago. Sweden. I believe he's from Sweden. Yeah. Yeah. He's Dutch, so that's all I know. But Same he was thing, beach, I think. I don't beach know. volleyball player, area. and and he got booed. They booed the fuck out of him. Good. On, like great. Get kick him the fuck off. He shouldn't be allowed to fucking play. He should, fuck. He should be in jail still. Eight years ago, kiss yeah, my ass. I, agree. I was in Sweden eight years ago. Hey, was it you? No. Oh uh, no, this I, is a girl. I was just wondering why he didn't rape me. <laughs> well, <laughs> is a little twist of events. Joran Vandersloot will be uh, competing in his spot <laughs> later on, so it'll be it'll yeah, be fine. It'll they're be they're fine. both Dutch. It'll yeah. be it'll be perfect. <laughs> That's no big deal. Oh yeah, he killed people over the age of eighteen, right. so that's Correct. a little What's less shied upon. Correct. Yeah, the and then the, the American that ran the hundred meters. That was the first time we've won a gold Dude, in like so twenty hot. years. No, 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 not women. Uh, oh. men. Yeah, but I, I agree with you though. Her too. She's yep. fucking attractive. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, but that's all for the Olympics. Attractive I was talking about that as chick fuck. That was on I TV knew right you were now. I, I know. I she saw is, her too. She, she is, was pretty. Uh, she yeah. is really pretty. Okay, I wanted to give a shout out, and a lot of a lot of you listeners fucking started sending me stuff from this guy. Hey, listener! And I'm I looked him up, and he only has sixteen thousand followers. This needs to be increased, and I mean, go and look this guy up on TikTok. His name is Mister Hobby King, mm-hmm. uh, Mister at Mister Dot Hobby King. His name is Ivo Rosens, at least I V O. I don't know, but everybody kept on sending us stuff about hobby horsing, and we have been making fun of hobby horsing ever since jp had his first appearance on this show that was that was that the was first, first appearance show. and we made fun of hobby horsing and I, yes i still think it's the most ridiculous fucking thing in the world i'm training but, currently for my next competition i know right i got a horse i'll sell you <laughs> <laughs> But Mr. Hobby King has done it on a whole new level. Go and check him out. He actually is doing like hobby racing, like hobby swimming, and it's just acting like he's doing it, and it's fucking hilarious. Go and look him up. It's fucking hilarious, mm-hmm. okay? So, yeah. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is Hot Topics. That's it for today. We got through it. I was... I was worried to be honest. I took my headset off. He You're did. Fine. He I'm did. I don't. We Why should all we just take them? our. I was going to say we should all I take the headset. I have been not wearing it for a while now, and I can tell you there's no fucking difference. <laughs> um, I feel like more of a there's human. No right difference, now. dude. Yeah, I like it. The I, only nice. thing I can't hear is my that. Well, the board, oh yeah. Which you so Scotty has to have it on. Yeah, the main reason why there's no way he could go without it. Well, sure there if, is. if you no. if you have you a head, can still hear it. Like if, hit my music. We can hear it through Z. Right. You can still hear it. You know. Fine. 
Uh, but no, the reason why you want to wear headphones is so you don't talk over each other. That's the whole idea. Oh, I oh. love talking over each other. <laughs> yeah, we do that's that either way. Kind of what we Doesn't matter. Are. Yeah, you got the that's wrong kind of thing. two fucking people <laughs> here. <laughs> if that's what you're trying to avoid, uh oh. <laughs> what is it? It's Shikari Richardson, right? Yeah, it's I think the yes. super hot one. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. All right. All right. Uh, but anyways, uh, now we get to move on to That's never have I ever. No, this is other shit. Yeah. But thank you guys so very much for participating in Month Day Fun Day. We um, had great questions, and Scotty picked the worst <laughs> of all the questions, like always. I'm not going to say we had really good ones this oh, week. Oh, uh oh. I thought, man, I thought usually that, he says we have really good ones and they're shit. If he's saying they're shit, I can't even imagine. I just know that there's a whole bunch of people that are still putting out the same exact questions every week. Mm-hmm. And it's like, hey, I, I, I saw that last week. If it was really good, I, I'm going to write it down and put it on a show. If not that one, a next one. But if it's not a good question, I'm moving on. That's That's the name of the game. So yeah, I like it. But uh, it seems like a solid. We did system. have a few. We did have a few good ones, and that's the ones that made it onto the show. Uh, but yes, uh, check out every Friday, Monday, Fun Day. Uh, I'm gonna post something, and you guys get to leave comments. And if we like it, we get to put you on the show. And this week, we're gonna kick it off with Tom McDonald, the Tom McDonald, the Tom the McDonald, one and only. Really, he is Ronald's son. No, he, no, Tom. You don't know who Tom the McDonald rapper? is. I have no rapper. idea. You don't know who the rapper is? No, I don't know. Really? Oh, you should check dude. out Tom McDonald. He's you, dope. You probably right. would like him. Yeah. He dropped a new uh, song called uh, Bitch You Missed. Yeah, it's real good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Just going to throw that out there. It's pretty yeah. good. But anyways, Mr. Tom McDonald, uh, he wants to know, <laughs> never have I ever tried to suck my own dick. Tried and succeeded. Thank you very much, Tom. <laughs> the way that I read that was I thought he was True. just making a statement. <laughs> like True. that he tried to suck his own dick. And I'm like, all right, thanks for that, Tom. All right, let's see what else is going on right here. Uh, if you could suck your own dick, where, well, yeah. How do you get out of the house? I'll yeah. show you. I mean, no. If, if I, li- I feel like I need to prove this. No. I'm, yeah, on camera. Only fans. I'm no, going to need to no, clear this stuff off no, the desk. No. <laughs> it's going to do it on the desk. I'm going to need to clear this stuff off the <laughs> Jesus desk, please. Christ. And I'm going to need you to hold my ankle. <laughs> you, should, you, should, you, should w- you should wait until he gets the couch so you'll That's be more true. comfortable. We'll wait. Right. Especially Coming soon. Especially if it's a black couch, like the, the chicks on the black couch yeah, interviews right. or whatever. Couch, yeah, the cast. Couch, there you go. Couch. Jesus. It'd be awesome. Yeah. Oh, God. No, I have never tried to suck my own dick huh. but if i could i, I would. i'm never leaving <laughs> i'm never leaving the house uh, never yeah i'm a i've always had a bit of a belly i'm not gonna yeah. lie to myself uh no yeah. i've never never have yeah. never have uh, tried, tried never well. been successful in trying but so. if you could but would now you? i have something to do so. <laughs> but if <laughs> if you could would you of course okay like, but yeah what oh, the fuck so yeah, insane it's not gay if it's your own. You give yourself hand jobs all the time. I just move my wife out of be, uh, be like, no, 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 like this. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Pay attention. You're not doing it right. Exactly. Uh, anyways. All right. Thanks, Tom. Uh, next one comes in from Lane Bays. He was not a real name. <laughs> that's what it said. Uh, but he wants to know, never have I ever seen someone wreck their vehicle. Well, yes. I have on more than one yeah. occasion. Yeah. Several occasions. Yep. Uh, yep. Like... What do you mean? Who hasn't seen someone wreck a vehicle? Yep. It's truth. I mean, when you work at a car dealership, it happens a lot. Yeah, right. I mean, that's for one thing. But, like, have you ever seen, like, an absolute catastrophic wreck? Oh, yeah. Wreck? We yeah. Were, when, whenever I was younger in high school, we used to cruise Seneca. Uh-huh. And my buddy had belonged to a low rider club, and he had an old fucking Monte Carlo that had hydraulics on it. So yeah. we'd be cruising Seneca. And we'd stop in where it was at the, that point. It was a Burger King. I think it might be Wendy's now. But anyway, we all stopped there and we're all kind of standing out by the side of the road or whatever, hanging out, bullshitting. And this fucking Mustang dude just balls out as fast as it could fucking go and lost control and just fucking right into a telephone pole. Ooh, oh, dude, yikes. the dude ended up dying. But uh, yeah, it was no kidding. bad. It was so, uh, he had to have been doing 80, 85 miles God an hour damn. and just wrapped. The pole was fucking 13, 14 feet from us. So we're Jesus. like, what the fuck? 
Yeah, it was cra- that was probably one of the crazier ones. Well, you used to work on South Seneca Quick Trip, right? Was that the yeah. one, was that the one where the dude drove directly into the store? Into the I store? wasn't. They, it was. They have driven into like four or five, six yeah. different Quick Trip. Yeah, I've of, never man. been in one. I was at work one night at Central and Oliver when I was working night shift, and they called me to Rock and Douglas because. Somebody drove through the store and they needed help cleaning it up. Oh and was, my god! And, uh, when I got there, they were taking pictures of the dude's car or whatever, and there's just like three fucking liquor bottles in the front seat. Oh, and fucking no so, shit! I okay, what so happened. he was having a good time. So he was having a good time. He, <laughs> I like that guy. He, he was sitting in the cop car. There was absolutely. No chance he even knew where he was at. <laughs> like Mary, that dude was that's fucked awesome. up, man. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. My that that's the like my my favorite quick trip stories. My oh, se- my second token. Come on. Oh, we man. got one. Come on, don't be last. <laughs> Fuck. Come on. See, this is why you watch the Olympics oh, during the fuck, fucking man. show. Oh, she's gonna pull a hamstring, guaranteed. That's just a heat. I don't think she was last. Maybe. <laughs> it's just a, it's For just any a, of you that are not seeing what we're seeing right now, there's eight runners in the Olympics, and all yeah. of them look the same except for one. <laughs> and she was very pale. <laughs> and I was like, come on, one time. And I'm pretty and, sure uh, she got last. Place. She got last. So, anyway, all right. That's, uh, but uh, my sorry. second sorry. favorite quick trip stories are when you legitimately see somebody who has a uh, – like you fill the car up on the left side, on the driver's side, and they are full cruising down the highway with the gas pump handle. He's still in there. Still That's in there. awesome. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. What the fuck that did you do? Yep. How do you not see that? Yeah, I agree with that. Anyways. I was at a central in 235. It's the That's the corporate store. That's right uh-huh. by the office. Okay. And uh, I was out smoking a cigarette. It was pouring rain, thunderstorm. Uh, my clerk, who had probably been there two weeks, I think, was inside, and uh, I was standing out in behind the big pop displays that we used to have on the sidewalk mm-hmm. because it was raining, and I was just kind of looking out, and all of a sudden, the you whole were fucking smoking. canopy from the gas canopy just fucking goes, oh. Cool. oh and no fucking way. sparks start shooting, and it just completely falls down. <laughs> no uh, way. Uh, crushing a car underneath it. Holy uh, luckily shit. Luckily, the dude had just come in to pay for his gas. Oh, my. And uh, oh, he wasn't in the car. Wow. But that is the most bird shit I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. Dude, it, was co- it covered everything, man. But Whoa, they, uh, they ended up finding insane. out. That's why it fell, because there was so much bird shit in the the gutters that were supposed to wow oh, so like out, filled out filled, filled up, with up water with, yeah. and then just fuck dude it was one of the coolest things wow. i've ever seen that's it was awesome, awesome. It was oh like here's the movie. pole vaulting there P- oh, jp hey, so. oh hey we got pole vaulting look at this guy cool it's gonna that, be that guy's that guy's not gonna accidentally gonna get lie. his swedish dick on the I'd, on the pole i'd fuck him <laughs> and i would really like, yeah he looks like sure. edward scissorhands i don't care what he looks like his face is gonna be in a pillow it's the body we're concerned about oh Oh my goodness! Look at him go. Pole, yeah, he, pole vaulting yeah, is impressive. It. Pole vaulting is the, is like one of those Olympic sports that I just don't I don't understand. Do you think they're all running down there going, "Don't hit your dick on the pole"? <laughs> don't hit yep. your dick on the pole. Well, either like that, now, either like, that, or, or hit your dick on the your pole. On the hit pole. your dick on the pole. Yeah. I mean, he look at how dude he cleared that by, by a, a mile. Yeah, he did. But the thing is, is there's like, no dick issues. Look at that. <laughs> Holy crap! He cleared that. Yeah, by he did. I'm scared shitless of like the pole. Whenever you shove it into I the know. fucking thing. And they do. They, they snap, snap and they're like yeah. fucking impale that, you, man. That, like that's not. Yeah. And then the pole hitting you in the dick. Well, that could happen okay, too. so we're going to have to get some paperwork on old Valerie here. This is, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Well, that's Hopefully her dick doesn't no, get no, in the way. Wait, wait, time out. <laughs> She's from the USA, so she can't be a man. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Uh, but oh, she could, oh, I didn't know discus. they had frisbee golf. Yeah, oh, she, discus. She, she that was pretty goddamn good too. Yep, I yep. think. Yep, she's in the lead now. Oh, her name is All Man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's just signs everywhere, you know. Oh, that, her name is literally All Man. It literally is. It is All Man. All right, I'll okay. give you that one. Well, that's good. I feel like we don't need to run the test no, now. No, no. Okay. Okay. Anyways, right. anyway, uh, sorry. Last never have I ever comes in from Brandon Strong. 
He wants to know, never have I ever slept with someone drunk who was a 10, but when you woke up the next day, you realized they were a 2. I am married. <laughs> I mean. But but your I, wife's not a 2. No, she's not. She's, yeah. I didn't two think half, that three. they were a 10 necessarily, I, but I sure didn't think they were a drag queen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, How does that work? Well, you Do you go, think like drag queens are like really happens. beautiful? No, here's what happens. You go to a bar uh -huh. and there's a drag queen there. Okay. But they're not dressed up in drag. Okay. And but they still look they, very feminine, very right? Feminine. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. then they pay the bartender to feed you a fuck ton of Yukon Jack. Okay. And then you start seeing triple. And okay. And you go home with them. Okay. Yeah. And then you wake up the next morning and roll over and go, what the fuck was I doing? <laughs> you had a lot of makeup yeah, on last right. night. All right. I like that. That's good. fucking awesome. It was a bad deal. Did like the hairnet pull off and then he's got like yeah. a horse. There was, yeah, makeup. Exactly. there was makeup all over the pillow <laughs> oh, and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, that's, it wasn't good. That's when it, so you kind of banged a chick. Sort, well, of, sort of. I mean, I guess. I don't really know what happened, to be honest. I mean, well, we'll have to get the test. Yeah, we'd have. To, I'd have to see the video footage. <laughs> oh, and there is video footage, I'm sure. Gross. I love it. I love it. <laughs> That's gross. Um, I... I was an OnlyFan before OnlyFans was really popular. <laughs> nice. I don't think I ever have. Uh, I've definitely gone to bed with somebody who wasn't a 10 but i knew it the next it's morning. hard for me to believe that anybody besides your wife is that you fucked is decent looking you oh, know what dude. i mean because oh, i think your wife is pretty and i yeah. like her a lot but i can't imagine any other pretty girl on you i no. not gonna lie no i had not happen. amazing taste in women and i and i, I never dated <laughs> lower than an i eight. had horrible taste in women that's why i suck dick now <laughs> 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 my women tasted like yeah he tuna. was literally like this tastes yeah. horrible yeah and then i tried to power wash my car inside i, was, I love I, it after, yeah. after well, during the break i'll show you some of my ex-girlfriends and you can you can make the hopefully judge, judge there's some nude pictures no there's not oh, there's damn. none of those no those, those they're all going to be high school chicks i mean yes they're <laughs> oh not high God. school now. they're not that's right now, how long have you been with right, your wife that's what i'm saying i've been with my wife for this is our 10 year wedding anniversary and we were engaged uh, for like three years so this is like a total of 13 years when did you, how old were you guys when you got together? I was, when we first started dating, I was 20, uh, 22, she was 18. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so all those exes I, are going to be like fucking I, pictures from high school. Now, when I met her, I was 21 and, and she, she was 13. She was 17. <laughs> And I we, forged the, we forged the documents. I immediately, first time meeting her, said, absolutely not. No, nope, absolutely not. There's a Chris D'Elia situation going on around no. here somewhere. In He's coming here. No. I know. What I know. the fuck? So her, her best friend was dating my best friend. And People are like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Her best friend was dating my best friend, and they, I, she, I, we found out that she was coming to the like the bonfire thing that we had. Yeah, and I go, uh, I go, oh, you're bringing a friend? Um, how old is she? She goes seventeen. I go, nope, absolutely not. And yeah, then, yeah, but we never, we never hooked up until after that. So, uh, yeah, of course, yeah. for legal reasons. Legal reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Anal isn't never, hooking up. Yeah, we never hooked up. She sucked my dick three or four times. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Nope. Eh, thanks, guys, for making it weird. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, but anyways, how about you, Steve? Did you say that you ever woke up next to a two? I mean, I really? Mean, there's a few of them. Yeah. Come uh, on, man. I did go through some stuff uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I was... I was in my 20s. I was a bit of a pussy hound, if you would. <laughs> I went uh, through some stuff. I, but, you know, I mean, you'd, you'd just meet him at the bar and yeah, go on I back. Mean. And it's like, well, all right. You were definitely the last one there for a reason. So, <laughs> was, you know, but it. it uh, I love that. It's yeah, it, it worked. It nice. worked. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Oh. Okay, let me ask you this. Have you ever. <laughs> Like there was, there was one time where I was, I, I hadn't, you know, it, it'd been a while since I'd hooked up with anybody, but I was like, I remember this like vividly. I was sitting in a chair, I was watching TV, I was eating a bowl of cereal and I thought of this chick and I just got like this, ooh, like this full body <laughs> shiver thing because I was like, Jesus, like how the fuck did I do that? Oh no. So I think that's a two. Right? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's definitely yeah, a two. I think that's a two. If you're right. gagging yeah, and if shivering. You're, yeah. I was just shivering. I wasn't gagging <laughs> per <laughs> se, I guess, but enough. it was uh, it was just like, well, it's enough to like bring you, had to just, yeah. you had to like shake it off, you know, oh, yeah. like it was uh, startling. Things yeah. that make you go, buh. 
Yeah. But anyways, that is never have I ever. So uh, now we get to move on to JP's favorite that part of every episode, which is line. that's where I draw the line. I can hear the music. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh, do you, do you want the other one? That's so good. But yes, uh, but yes. Now we get to move on to that's where I draw the line. We actually had some come in from like Twitter and Instagram, Steve. Uh, but he wants. Uh, we're going to start this off with at. I didn't suggest anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, we're going to start with at Big Mike F. Uh, he wants to know if you were an adult film star, where would you draw the line on sexual acts? Let me answer this for JP. Never. Never. There's no there line. There is no line. There is no line. I'm serious. There's definitely a line. Dude, there will be a new addition. Two lines, actually. There would be two dudes in one cup, and JP would participate. No, no shit, no blood. <laughs> End of story. That's it? End of story. Okay. That's it, though. That's like, it. I'll do pretty much anything else you want to do. That's insane. Okay, well, but. so so here's my uh, how much. <laughs> like what are they paying you know what i mean yeah. like if it's all right we're gonna do this crazy scene everybody gets two hundred thousand dollars as soon as we're done <laughs> still no JP, shit jp no and blood. i are gonna be cuddling you know what i mean like i don't know but i've always wanted to like cuddle with steve yeah i mean you That's know it, though. If they're like all right it's a donkey show i'd be like oh i don't know it's weird but i i don't know i i uh hall motherfucker if, if i if so if my sole source of income is being a adult <laughs> film star <laughs> and then they come up with something crazy they I, know they have to pay more I, right i, like, I hear only be, i hear yeah, only fans so. does pay pretty well <laughs> to oh, say well yeah, i am only making i have i have three people that yeah. have <laughs> signed up so i make nine dollars a month i want income and equality for the male models on only oh, fans are trust and believe are really? i've got a buddy that makes like 36 to thirty eight thousand dollars a month dude what? that system that uh consistently for like the last six to seven months oh dude i'd sell my soul dude, dude. that that gillian keeves what are you doing that gillian keeves I'm with uh fucking old and fat now man so, 20 years ago i would have fucked and been rich oh you can still do it yeah that that gillian keys with shane gillis when he is the dad that's doing the <laughs> yeah. dude, oh my gosh that was, that so, was a good one he's like yeah, a lot of fellas on there <laughs> a lot of fellas on there <laughs> <laughs> Somebody turns up the little thing. He's like, oh! <laughs> that was the funniest. If you're if you're ever. a listener of this podcast and you're not watching Gillian Keeves, do yourself a favor and go watch Gillian Keeves on YouTube. It's, it's free. And it's, it's way amazing. Worth it. It's it is so amazing. Oh Jesus! And this okay. is uh, so, a little more French wine. I can feel it getting bigger. There you go. Uh, <laughs> your dick getting bigger. Yep. Nice. That's not the French wine. That's my hand. <laughs> 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 So I think I think my my draw the line would probably be like something yeah pegging like I, I can't, couldn't do I it I couldn't do it For even the if right it was, amount of money even if it was my wife no dude it's just weird. I thought your wife did peg you. yeah I thought that was how's that weird all of a sudden no yeah. Derek and Jeremy just tried to get me to admit to it when of course it why never would you happened. just admit it because yeah. because it's never happened I don't want it to happen. I don't feel like that is a fucking exit. Like it's happened. <laughs> okay, that is a fucking exit for me. For, <laughs> for her, different story. But yeah, uh, no, I don't well, want anything. I mean, it's an exit butt. for Natalie too, and yep. I might have been able to yes. save her ca cancer stuff. Absolutely, yeah, man. What if you have cancer? Don't you want your so wife? So there to you know? go. I'll go get my prostate it's, checked it's whenever it's due. Easier it than you. a colonoscopy. No. You have to pay for it. I'm gonna save you so much money, man. No, I'm good. Easier than a colonoscopy. Nope, I'm good. I'll, I'll fucking put a camera around it before I put it in if, you, if that makes <laughs> a difference. Just tape a GoPro to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is terrible. Okay. Uh, next one comes in from Matt Shartner. That is not his real name. <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, anyways, he wants to know, how long will you tolerate a person you can clearly tell is lying before calling them out? I, 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 here's the deal. I love this. And I love to kind of string them along. Like I oh, yeah? love that whole win the win the war, not just the battle thing. Uh -huh. So, like, even if it doesn't happen that day, where we just fucking keep going for a while, and then it's like, gotcha, bitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like, it's I love that because the person that's like calm and can like 
set up a good argument and stuff like that always looks better in the long run than the person that's just emotional and crazy when they start yelling about everything. Uh, I, I, I feel I, attacked. I, <laughs> I feel attacked. <laughs> so um, I'm I feel with, like I'm the, I'm the emotional crazy chick. I I am with Steve on this one. Yeah, my, I agree. My favorite thing to do is, is to just keep feeding you rope yep. that you are going to eventually hang yourself with. Yep. Uh, and I, I have done this before. I, I like was talking to a dude online, and he was talking a whole bunch of shit about baseball. Mm-hmm. And so, but he was telling me all kinds of stuff about like him. Whenever he was in college, he played baseball here, and it just didn't fucking add up. There are certain things that, but you know, somebody who played baseball at the college level knows about. Yeah, and his this dude did not bunting. No, well, group showers. No, right. you know things like that. In that case, I played baseball in college. <laughs> just, just the lingo, just the slang terminology, and he didn't pick up on certain things. Yeah, I would have no idea. Oh yeah, uh, like like hearing seams is a, is a really good. One. That basically means you're you're hearing ninety plus fastballs. You can actually hear the seams. All right, I could uh, right. I could probably I could fake my he way could, through this. He couldn't pick it up. And so I just was like, yo, dude, yeah, let's let's go ahead and meet up at uh, the batting cages. And, you know, I, I just don't have anybody to go with. And he kept on making excuses and making excuses of why he couldn't go. Probably because he didn't want to hang out with you because you're fucking dumb. Nope. I eventually, <laughs> dude, I, I eventually got him. He got in there. I got him there. Not good. He was terrible. Of course he was. It was awesome. Well, he was a uh, full of shit. It was awesome for you. Oh, it was. Uh, he yeah, was a pitcher. Good. He can't. He's yeah, not supposed right, to be able to, right. to hit. He I was played, a pitcher. No, because we played catch to warm up first, and he could, couldn't do that either. Couldn't do that either. Oh. So, anyways, uh, oh. but yes, oh. I I like to do that. Uh, but anyways, uh, next one or last you one. You played catch to warm up to bat. <laughs> Yeah, you go to the hitting cages, man, and you, you just play catch first. Yeah, you you warm up. Okay. Yeah, dude. My favorite noises is hearing mitts. I've pop. usually been drunk when I'm at the batting yeah, cages, I and there's been no the warming up at I all. Uh, yeah. 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 That's true. I never really. I do it like he did nice on Happy Gilmore, catch. where he's just like, "Ooh, that one hurt a little." Well, <laughs> 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 oh, that's that all right. Kid gets in there afterwards. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> trash. <laughs> God, that feels good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, and last one comes in from Brian Scott. He wants to know what is the maximum amount of floors you will take the stairs before you take the elevator? That's Probably a- six. Yeah, six that's or good. seven. I would say. Yeah, that's a good. That's a three good is. I'm not even looking at the Here's elevator. Here's the ones three that floors. kill me are the ones that take the elevator at the mall. That's oh, so fucking that's dumb, dumb. Dude. You're going up a, a dude. You're lo- you're going up to a floor and you can see. Stairs move. Yeah. <laughs> It's really very odd. yeah. Like it's I get it if you're in a yeah. wheelchair or something, but just if you're an able bodied person and you're taking the elevator uh-huh. because you don't want to fucking take the stairs. Was that it used move. to be uh they, they used to have the, the epic center stair climb or whatever. I don't know how many I think there's twenty two floors or twenty five uh-huh. floors, something no, like yeah. that, and they used to have the race. Oh God. Uh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm losing that deal. Um I don't think it'd be that bad. JP's I try that JP's once. not fucking around it. The town east mall here in Wichita, there is legitimately two floors. That's yeah, it. There's that's two it. floors. There's yep. an upstairs and then there's the level, main yep. level. And an elevator. And there is a fucking elevator that may be twenty there's to thirty. There's multiple elevators. No, because no there's just, one. just the one no, in a bunch right of different stores court. and shit. Uh, I mean, no, like Von Mar has an elevator. The, Dillard's the, has an the elevator. Four main ones. The yeah. four ones on yeah. either side. Yeah, JC oh, yeah. Penney's. Yeah, all that shit. Has uh, okay, that's too. true. But but it either that or go and fucking use the escalator Shields and just elevator. walk up the escalator. Yeah. And you know what? I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I don't think that that elevator is a notice. I don't think it is. Just saying. That's a, a. What's the matter with the Otis? Everybody else that listens to this show knows. Yeah. But you guys don't. Oh, Jeremy. I know. <laughs> yeah. Otis uh, I, I think we're all going to be agreeing on uh, six. It's a good round number. So, yeah. All but, right. I'll go with eight. But, ladies and gentlemen, yes, that is. <laughs> that's where we draw the line. And now we get to move on to questions and pregnant. Preguntas. Yeah, pregnant questions. Preguntas. We had quite oh a few goodness. of these. Look at good. this guy training without a shirt on. I do like that. God, pole vaulting is just oh, weird. It's to the me. same guy. He went from Sweden all the way to LSU. I just, at least goodness. he was still in Look a different him. country. I'm just scared. Dude, if I was ever in that good a shape. He's going to get fucking spit roasted by the pole on the way down. Yeah, that's true. And that's that what I'm scared yeah, no, 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 I agree 100%. That's crazy. Don't they have to kind of like th- like push the pole out of the way? Yeah, they have to push it out of the way. It's ridiculous. Dude, can you imagine if I tried to do that right now, I would snap that fucking pole in half <laughs> oh, yeah. so quickly. They'd be like, no, not rated, not rated. Dude, would be snapped. 
Okay, so right, questions. Let's, let's let's get this bad boy through, or let's get through it. The first one comes in from a uh, TikTok I saw from the internet, which I thought was actually pretty hilarious. Uh, but the first one is: Would you rather mm-hmm. get one night with your biggest celebrity crush, or a free sandwich every day for the rest of your oh, life? Oh God! Sandwich? Are you kidding 100%. me? Hundred percent. Sandwich. Hey, dude, Matt Reif or the sandwich free every day. Oh, it's definitely going to be fucking Matt Reif. Oh, is it the really? The not gay guy? Yeah, the super not gay. Yeah. He's not gay. He's pounding puss everywhere. It's but Justin he's, Bieber probably. But he's going to he's gonna just cave okay. to you. But it's probably Justin Bieber anyway. But Okay, by the way, Matt Reif, he also fucks with his socks on. Well, that's fine. Okay, I'm just telling Matt you. Matt Reif that can that's do that. True. Yeah, he, I don't yeah, think he, that's he's, true. He's like me. He's said it. He's flat out said it. He's lying. He's not. He did I'd that for to, comedic effect. I'd have effect. to see the test to be sure. <laughs> he did that for comedic effect because he listens to this podcast and he was Probably. like, I'm going to steal that as a joke. I don't know. I think he'd said it way before me, but uh, but no, I'm taking the fucking free sandwich. Yeah, all day. Yeah. I'll buy my sandwiches. All day. Thanks. Yeah, no. You know what? I have. Here's, here's I can buy a sandwich. I, I want can't a free buy Justin one. Bieber. Awesome. I want I a don't free think. one. That is true. You know what I mean? Like, so I can buy a, a fucking sandwich. It, you, they have to fuck? Is that the deal? Or is it yeah. just like you just want to spend some yeah. time? I think no. I think yeah, they have to fuck. Like They have to do whatever I say. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm okay. going sandwich. <laughs> yeah. And I I, I'm trying to think. I, I'm trying to think of who I would pick for my, for my celebrity crush, too. I think it's... I'm still a huge Jessica Biel fan. Steve said sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 100% on and board. And he was sandwiches. like quick with it, too. He was like, I'm fuck uh, all that. I, I, but uh, there's absolutely no question who my celebrity crush is and always has been. Who and is it? always will be. It's Selma Hayek. Selma Hayek is yours? She's a phenomenal body, dude. She's oh, yeah. like 50 some odd years old. She just gets hot. hotter every fucking day. Yeah, I yeah, agree. She's, she's, she is amazing. She is like, she's smoking. still not as hot as a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I would I, a sandwich for free forever. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So maybe I can change my answer. Yeah. Um, you can buy your sandwiches, own sandwiches. are pretty cheap. They're yeah, not. They're cheap enough. You know, you know who's going to get out of jail in like two more years? Jared. Jared. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Do you know that that fat motherfucker has kids? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Think about that. Some chick fucked that guy and was like, like she was fucking an athlete or something like she thought she was set up for life mm. off subway money and then he's fucking doing child porn and shit oh, and God. goes to prison forever like that's terrible that's i mean that's terrible. just kind of what she gets but yeah. whatever whatever it's <laughs> what she gets she, never she, was, fuck a she was listening to kanye like <laughs> yeah, a gold right. digger. but then <laughs> yeah <laughs> there was a twist <laughs> oh god Okay, next one comes in from A Marcos six fifteen. He wants to know if you could create your own word or phrase for the Urban Dictionary, what would the word be and what does it mean? I've already done this. Oh, what you have? It's dirty bullets, and it's when <laughs> oh. yeah, when a guy has AIDS. <laughs> Oh, if you're gonna fuck him, make sure you use a condom because he's shooting dirty bullets. Oh, that was God. the that was the sentence that I, I like that. Recorded. That's pretty That's legit. Good. And then they they accepted it and they sent me a thing that was like, "Would you like a T-shirt made <laughs> made for for that?" You no said way. yes, right? Yep. Okay. That's awesome. You wear it? I don't have it. Oh. I never said yes, but oh. I could still get one. You can you still look to. it up. And but you're yeah. like that's, that's like the Guinness Book of yeah. World Records for uh, people that never really did anything. Biggs and I kind of came up with it together. Yeah, I guess. Uh, uh, so that's what I was gonna say. I yeah, I, I don't like have a term, but I learned a term this past week uh-huh. uh, from Biggs, and it is quite possibly my favorite uh-huh. uh, on Urban Dictionary: uh, peach meat. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like the little camel toe part on the sides in the chick's yoga pants. <laughs> I was like, dude, that is fucking awesome. It's just the meaty, the meaty part of the peach out there. Uh, I love it. I think it's great. So he wrote it on the uh, wall at Vorchet's. That's the the chalkboard wall that is for Natalie's, you know, well wishes. Like, yeah. get well soon. And and then Biggs wrote peach meat up in the <laughs> top left corner. And hashtag. Biggs. It's great. I love it. So that was my favorite. But I've never come up with one. I, I, well, I'm going to give you one. 
Okay. Okay. I, I've actually thought about this for a really long time. Oh, this is going to be horrible. No, it's uh, going to be so bad. No, it's called the shrinking Peters. You have to do an ice bath challenge and try to stay fully <laughs> this, erect. This <laughs> motherfucker. And have sex this motherfucker. with somebody. I have only, I have only <laughs> orgasmed three times in my, in my cold plunge. <laughs> But I left it in the filter, oh, so it's still in there. Oh, that's disgusting. I was terrible. in my cold plunge today naked, and Natalie walked in the garage. She's like, what are you doing? Because I had just got out. I was like toweling off. I was like drying off. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? She's like, why are you naked? I was like, I just did a cold plunge. What oh, the fuck? God. Okay, I lied. It wasn't. I can't. I couldn't remember. It's, it's this. The ejaculate of a male afflicted with any sexually transmitted disease that is transmitted through semen don't fuck that guy he's shooting dirty bullets i love it <laughs> yeah i, see I love it. it oh lord all right next one comes in from andy ames he wants mm -hmm. to know he sounds amish yeah for sure hey move your phone jp there you go <clears throat> andy andy wants to know you would have known that if you had headphones you correct what is the one location on Earth that you have always wanted to go, and what is the location that you never want to go? I can definitely give you the never want to go. Oh. Like, I have no desire, no nothing. Uh, India. I do not want to go there. To me, that is a country of diarrhea. Yeah. Just waiting to happen and disease and, and just dirtiness. And Kamala, Kamala Harris is from there. No, I thought she was Jamaican. Uh, both. Right. Anyway, uh, we'll be right back, folks. Uh, um, After these messages, yeah. uh, we'll be right, all right. back. Anyway, I, I just, but that is the one place that I've picked that I never, like, ever, ever. That's a good one. Go, that, ever. That is a ever. good one. I, uh, um, okay, go ahead. What What is the one place you really want to go that you haven't been yet? Well, okay, so I got a couple things. Okay. Uh, number one, and I know this makes me sound old as fuck, I want to go on an Alaskan cruise. Fuck yeah. I want to go on an Alaskan cruise so bad, and my wife is like, fuck that. If we're going on a cruise, we're going to a beach. And I'm like, well, technically, <laughs> you know, there's just polar bears on it. Exactly. Yeah. But no, I, I really do. Like, I really want to check oh, out that's a good that, one. an Alaskan cruise. And then I think... Um, I, 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 all right, look, I, <laughs> this is going to be unpopular. <laughs> I would love to go to Russia. I would love no. to see Russia. And I think the reason for that is because when I was in fifth grade, we had a teacher, her name was Mrs. Godfrey, and she went, I grew up in Catholic school and she went to Russia, uh, as a fifth grader. I find it odd now, uh, way more odd, that she told us that she brought Playboys with her uh, to Russia because that time that was right after the USSR had fallen. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they were taking trains from Poland, I think, into Russia. And that's what they kind of bought their way through the gate or the border guards and shit with was mm -hmm. Playboys. And I was like, Hmm. all right that's, that's okay. you could have left that out to a bunch of catholic school kids i think but right. whatever. whatever i mean at least we're being honest i guess but um she she brought back like the architecture of like st petersburg and stuff like that i think it'd be cool as fuck like i think it'd be fucking awesome and then you talk about i mean the chicks are all tens like for yep. the most unless you get the, the big holga or sweden Elga, whatever yeah. yeah sweden dog that might be cool too i just i think that russia it would be neat uh, maybe because it's kind of I don't know. I might end up like Brittany Griner. You know, yeah. <laughs> like I might try and get out of that thing. And they're like, you have weed. And I'm like, no, I don't. I've never smoked. Weed. I, I am. I don't know. I am very shocked with your answer because mine is extremely close to yours. Really? Yes. Really? Okay. <clears throat> well, so, like I said, this is long before, you know, they yeah. uh, had every right to invade. Never mind. Whatever. I, I just. So, <laughs> so the number one place that I never, ever, 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 ever want to go mm -hmm. is uh, probably uh, Iran. Where? Oh, uh, Iran? Uh, either uh, one. Iraq or I, Iran. I, 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 I have to... I, the Middle East is amazing. Like, I, the Middle sure. East is fucking... Iraq is amazing. It's kind of a second home. It really is. There's yeah. places in Iraq, northeastern Iraq, that are fucking... Gorgeous. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, Afghanistan was the worst camping trip I've ever been on in my entire <laughs> life. But it it is beautiful. I mean, it truly is. Like, the mountains are so rugged. Like, you you, you don't see shit like that yeah. anywhere else. You know? I mean, like, sure. it's very unique. I so. just, I don't ever think I but want like to But, like, Pakistan, 
No, nah, fuck off. Good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Turkey was a uh, turkey, turkey was a big surprise. Turkey to me. is that was a awesome. big surprise. Turkey to me. is yeah. fucking yeah. Awesome. Istanbul was actually yeah. kind of badass. Uh, it really was. I act like I've fucking been there. No, I just uh, from what I've heard people say, yeah, turkey it was is, it was cool. That Turkey's was a good that was a, time. that was a big surprise. Okay, it really was. So Dubai this, can suck my. Di- I do not <laughs> like Dubai. It's it's Vegas in the Middle East. It's all it is. It's so fake. It's not even. Yeah. It sucks. Kay. I like Jordan very well. Okay. I love Jordan. Really so, love. So you're gonna laugh and you're gonna be shocked of what my number one place to visit is oklahoma no <laughs> no oaklawn there is one country that i am obsessed with and dislike very very much japan but i want to go to experience it and see how fake it is japan north korea yeah oh, okay I, I could get on board with that i want sure. i want I to go that. and yeah. see the the you know the theatrics yeah. that they put uh, if you're a guest here's the problem you're gonna end up being sent home just like otto warmbird yeah, did or whatever his name uh in a coma and die and like die. three days later yeah but yeah I, and that's and that is it is kind of fucking like you you do wonder like like britney griner like all jokes aside did she really have a fucking weed cartridge on her? She might have. She may I not don't have. No, but she may not have too. You know, I mean that that really is a possibility. Yeah. They just wanted to fuck with her because she's American. Yeah, so I, I agree. That's that's uh, the Otto Warmbeard guy or whatever stole a sign. Mm-hmm. I guess like he was taking it as a souvenir. Mm-hmm. Um, so at least they had and and like he admitted like he really did do that shit. So maybe so they had a reason. I mean, she obviously them. shouldn't have yeah. been put to death, but jesus like at least there was some something some substance yeah. to it you know but no. i know that there are americans that go to north korea and they go and come back and they're fine right um i mean i saw you a just, movie about it with seth rogan and yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that was great yeah no my, oh by the way that maybe, that's, realistic. maybe that's what i you remember they hate us because they ain't they us they hate us because they ain't us I think it should just be an, ain't us. Like <laughs> yes. a, A-N-U-S. They hate us because they ain't us. <laughs> That's fucking All right, crazy. Anyway, sorry, All right. Uh, how about you, JP? Where are you wanting to go? Uh, like, uh, I would say the place I'd want to go would be like Denmark in that, that oh, that'd be whole great. area. Oh, he yeah. wants to yeah, go to yeah. the biggest gay bar in the world. Right. Where is the biggest gay bar in the world? I don't you have know. to look that up. I, I don't know. But, how did you uh, not know I would that? not want to go is the Amazon rainforest. Oh, oh you I are agree insane. with that. I agree with that. I agree with no that. No fucking way. The fucking things that are living in there. Yep. No, thank you. Ah, yeah. Nope. Nope. I signed up to go to Somalia when I was working for the State Department, too. I would rather go there than the the Amazon Rainforest. Yeah, I agree. So, Theatron, a gay bar, dance club, and nightclub complex in Bogota, Colombia, is considered the largest gay nightclub in the world. Bogota, Colombia, man. Colombia would be beautiful. Would be beautiful. That would actually be cool. I would love that. Yeah, that would actually be cool. Yeah. All right. I'd be all right. How about Venezuela this time of year? You want to go? Uh, I, funny story, have bought a ton of Venezuelan currency. You have? I have, I have several million dollars worth of Venezuelan currency. Uh-huh. Um, and I did that because Joe Biden decided that it was a good idea to start getting oil from Venezuela. Oh. And I thought in the long run, if he really gets fucked up and gas prices go to five, six, seven, eight, ten dollars $10, um, and we start piping in Venezuelan oil, their Venezuelan dollar is going to go like oh, yeah. this. So the exchange rate would actually be <clears throat> pretty good. So and my safe has like $40 million or $50 million, something like that, of Venezuelan. Well, and, and they. Boulevards. So that's what they are. They're boulevards. Their money, they're just like throwing it away and burning it in the streets now. Okay, go fuck yourself, Scotty. Just saying. Thanks. It's crazy. Uh, but anyways. Well, I mean, Steve has $40 million, so. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. It's worthless. Can't be worth too it's, much. It's it's toilet paper. <laughs> well, Maduro Maduro just got reelected. Yeah, he still got hope. It, it's it was a very fair election. It was very hard fought. He was only put in power by the United States government because God forbid we we fuck with anybody else's election. Exactly. Uh, but Jesus. they can. All right. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that's fun. Good. It's the it's the Venezuelan Boulevard. If you're listening, um, Mr. Maduro, can you please like, <laughs> start me. selling some more Help fucking oil? Because I need a little bit of my money back. I yeah. think I have four hundred dollars invested in this thing. <laughs> and uh, wow. if I can exchange get, rate, yeah, yeah right. just kill a bunch. Of, I don't care if I can just get three hundred and fifty of it back. Um, it was worth all the dead babies. Oh it's fine. No, I'm, okay. kid, I'm kidding. Uh, well. I don't right. think there's any babies. That's not Israel. Like I don't think no. they're killing any babies over there. I think no. they're actually adult 
adult humans that are uh, rightfully and women rightfully protesting. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, but some of them, yeah, we kind of, <laughs> I mean, come on, they kind of deserve it a little bit. Jesus but uh, I did write another joke the other day that uh, talked about if you were married to a female UFC fighter. Uh huh. And she was going to be like the main card that night, you know, and she's training for this fight really bad, but she was a fucking cunt for like the two weeks leading up to it. So the whole time you're kind of rooting for the other tick, just keep punching the fuck out of her because you can't, you know, like, yeah, kick her in the fucking clam. You know? All right. Anyway, give her the old dick twist. Exactly. Dick exactly. Twist. I had a lot of time on my hands. I've, if you haven't, I love yeah. It. Okay, so I, love I, I wrote a joke about uh, Donald Trump being flabbergasted that the um, conference that he recently went to with the uh, National Association of Black Journalists yes, started I 35 minutes late, yeah. and he claims that he's always been around black people his whole entire life. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on. We know that. Like we know was, that's a fucking lie now. He was. He just basically. And my black friends are the ones that yeah. thought that was the most fucking hilarious right. joke they've ever heard in their it's life. Fuck, so go fuck yourself, yeah. you angry true. white lady that's going to be offended by that joke. It's my. It's I will. Fucking I will true. tell Saban to beat your ass. My my best friend Demetrius Dante Martin. It tell has told me multiple that, times. If if okay. I will say, CPT I will say if, if, if a white dude was like, I have a black friend or I have black friends and they were like, okay, well then name them. And you said, Demetrius Dante Martin. I'd be like, that's Those made three up. Different like people. that's made up. You just it sounds like three God. different yeah, people. Exactly. That was, uh, anyways, that was made up. he has confirmed CPT is real shit. It really is. I love it. Yep. I love it. Uh, next question uh, comes in from Keith Allen Prather. He wants to know, where is the worst place to do the deed? What deed? Is there a bad place to do the it? The deed, dude. Like jerk off or have sex? Have sex. Okay. Dude. All right. You call jerking off the deed? I don't know. Well, he does it with his socks on. So. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Problem. All the time. Do you jerk so. off with your socks on? Yes. In the shower? No. Do you shower with your socks on? No, I do not. That's the only time. I, I, I If I'm swimming or if I'm taking a shower, I take my socks off. But in the hot You'd tub. You'd be way cooler if you the left them on. Yeah, no. I agree. No. I was I, in the hot tub yesterday. My shoulder is all fucked up. Do you wear your socks? No. No. Uh, no. I, uh, I was actually buck naked in that thing. I get... I, I try and stay naked a lot. I don't know why. Because I, I want to live like JP. I don't know. JP, where's the worst place to do to do it? A car. That's no shit. I banged a chick on the roof of uh, Indigo one time. I um, banged a chick on the roof of Quick Trip. <laughs> <laughs> nice. One. That's why the fucking gas thing fell. <laughs> that no, was a big the, bitch. <laughs> no, the roof of the store, not the oh, gas pumps. It. But I love yeah. it. And that, that was that actually wasn't dude, an, a non enjoyable place oh, to bank. It was, was a, awesome. it was kind of a curved roof, so there was some traction issues. Is that thirteenth and Oliver? <laughs> <laughs> Where I did, yeah. Jesus, did you watch people get shot while you were banging this chick? It was uh, awesome. Uh, hey, yeah, hey, that quick trip is no longer there. How for a reason. How, how steep was the slope of this particular? That roof was flat. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was a Mine he was flat as well. He's a he, yeah, he's a Secret Service Special Forces guy. <laughs> yeah. it's awesome. Uh, I can't. The think. worst place I would think like um like a like a like a Kansas lake, you know like if you're in a Kansas like you're at Cheney and you're banging a chick you're both gonna get an infection. Oh yeah, you know what I mean from in the, the lake, water. Yeah. yeah, the river in France. Yeah. Oh gosh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that's bad. That's bad no, for sure. But seriously, like I, I my but when favorite. You get out of there, your dick will be huge. Ooh, yeah. she just smashed her clam on that thing. Did you see that? <laughs> no, she just fell on the balance beam and fucking ooh. Yikes. Oh, that yeah. was bad. Okay. Damn. No, you know what? She, she smashed her peach meat. Well, thankfully, <laughs> dude, thankfully she's Asian, so it runs this way instead of this <laughs> way. <laughs> well, that means it got the whole thing then. God. Well. Okay, so I was like, my my favorite television show is Deadliest Catch, and when they're out in the Bering Sea and those waves are going like fucking crazy, they're huge. Could you imagine trying to have I sex with I could bang a Simon? chick in a nice warm boat you on could? the Bering Sea. Okay. I could. For sure. Right. I mean, right. it already smells like crab. I'm going to be turned on anyway. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> That's good. Uh, let's see. Next Love it. next question uh, comes in from Christian George. He wants to know rejected that names. Is, why are these people using fake names? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to know rejected names for butt plugs. Keith Allen Prather sounds like the next. Uh, all right. No, that's the guy before. This is Christian George. Oh, all right. Shit stoppers. Rejected names for butt plugs. Yeah. Shit stoppers. I like that one. Yeah. I like that one. Yep. Poop pluggers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sphincter stretchers. 
Mm-hmm. That's a thing. Mm-hmm. That's that a thing. thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, Natalie told me if she has to get radiation, that doctors prescribe like you get a, a prophylaxis thing. Uh-huh. Like it's a giant. To, because um, if it's pelvic radiation, it shrinks up your vagina like a fucking raisin. Mm-hmm. I was like, <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. Well, but it gets a little, it gets a little crusty, uh, too. Yuck. So oh, you know, that's disgusting. That's, it's like chipping off the barnacles. You yeah, fucking, exactly. What? It's, uh, well, it just, uh, yeah. So they have to, but all right, that's a little off topic. Mm. Um, I guess barnacle blaster. Rejected, oh, rejected names for butt. Gosh, I wish I didn't even see this one. Yeah. I would have thought about it. Yeah. Oh, that's dude, a pretty I'm tough so one, sorry. Actually. It kind of is, you know? Like, I can usually come up with a couple of off my head. I know, me too. Yeah, this, this one, is, this I feel like sucks. it's sacrilegious to me. Yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah, because it's such I a big part of your people. Quite a bit. All the time. Actually, yeah. he does oh, the podcast. Have, you seen the, the uh, have yeah. you seen the guy that's interviewing two chicks in Vegas? And there's a blonde chick and a, and a brunette chick. And he's like, how much would you have to get? Like, how much would someone have to pay you to wear a butt plug all day long? And, sh- and this brunette chick is like, there is no way. Like, there's no amount of money. There is nothing. There is no way that that could possibly happen. And her stupid friend, who is my favorite human being, on her, <laughs> who's very blonde and very hot, goes, oh, I would have just done it for free. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. like, oh, my God, I love her. <laughs> Sorry, Natalie. I'm <laughs> going that way. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, poop plugger is good. All right. And sphincter, sphincter stretcher is again. Also good. Mm. Yeah. Sure. We're going to go with Scotty's picks. I like the butt dam. (laughs) That's good. The butt dam. (laughs) That's good. Okay. All right. Uh, And last one comes in for Taylor Morosky. She wants to know rejected slogans for a gun commercial. Do you hate kids? (laughs) (laughs) Do you hate schools? (laughs) Well, then come on down to Cletus's Gun Emporium. I love it. That's, oh, that's that was a pretty good one. <laughs> oh God, are you from Turkey? Are you a bad motherfucker? Come to here. I don't know. That's all mm. I can think of. They're twenty twos though. It's kind of shitty. Come yeah, see Cletus. Our guns so. work on sloped roofs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Uh, <laughs> rejected <laughs> slogans for a gun commercial. Oh God. Oh no. I I've got something work in the works. It's like uh, bullets. It's what's for dinner. Uh, yeah do you do you feel like uh making goth kids happy since columbine oh god go. damn it <laughs> sorry well, ladies and gentlemen that is questions and preguntas for this week thank you so much for participating in month day fun day month day month day yep Mont-day. keep your eyes peeled for the next one comes the out Mont. every friday but guys now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode this is the laughing on the sidelines draft All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, Unfortunately, JP won. (laughs) Steve's down there just, he just making the sound. I'm depressed. I mean, yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. You know? I crushed it. JP won. Yeah, he won quite. This is ridiculous. I don't get any personalized questions. JP wins the fucking draft. (laughs) Like this is rigged. So now, how many accounts do you have on social media? (laughs) I'd rather not talk about it. (laughs) Exactly, it's two hundred and thirty-seven. I can give you some of the names: Matt (laughs) Shortner, Brian Scott. Yep. Yeah. His names sound made up. We know you're Tom McDonald. Yeah. Yeah. And right. Lane Bays. <laughs> like Lane Bays is a real name. Give me a break. Brandon Strong. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Anyways. He's never lifted a weight in his life. Watch him what watch him show up at Scotty's one day, just beat my ass, and oh, he's just God. roided out, dude. I uh, like him already. Um so yeah. I so, respect him. So we did what? Favorite sounds in that we did last year? Or uh, last episode? Yep. Yeah, I think Something that's right. Like that. Something like that. But anyways, no, yeah. it was the oh wait, you guys did an episode after I was here, right? Uh, or one or two episodes? No, I think you because the last draft, the last week. draft, the last draft that I did was uh, favorite death scenes. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's that, on, yeah. on on yeah. screen. 
yeah. on screen uh, yeah death and Hans Gruber did not win the whole fucking like what How, is wrong with I you don't people? know I don't know I am even saying that that I think our listeners have great taste I Jesus think Christ. I think this fucking podcast needs to be started <laughs> needs to start being <laughs> sponsored by passages Malibu <laughs> so that all of these weirdo listeners that are obviously on drugs can go get off their drugs <laughs> yeah jackasses anyways I don't even get personalized questions like that I, hurts we'll get some we'll figure out when the next we time won't. you're on and you will we get won't. personalized questions that's Oh, I thought I was going to be on every day. You might as well start being on because we don't know what about Derek. He's going to be moving to Canada soon, so there's that. <laughs> but anyways, uh, <laughs> <laughs> true story. <laughs> anyways, so and we're uh, not going to accept his purple money either. No, absolutely not. Uh, but this week's draft is a fun one. I, I think this will be a lot of fun for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, this week's draft is going to be nostalgic things that we experienced from our childhood that this. Uh, this new generation will never experience. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, th- so, and here's the thing: JP and Steve born kind of right around the same time. I was born in '76. JP was born in 1943. <laughs> 77, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> JP was born exactly 10 years uh, before I was. Yeah. I was I, I was 87. So yeah. this is wow. gonna be fun. Yeah. Uh, and. Hey. I got dead last. So for the first time in a long time since Steve was here last week, mm-hmm. Steve doesn't get the first overall pick. He yes. gets he yes. gets the Eiffel Tower picks finally. So yes. uh, he's in the middle of me and JP. Yes. JP gets the championship. How much does this pay again? <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> yeah. Less so. than you would hope for, I bet. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm a professional. What? It pays forty million dollars in fucking uh, boulevards, boulevards, yeah, Venezuelan yeah. boulevards. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I have a Vietnamese dong. Oh, well. cool. yeah. me too. And not, and not the kind that JP likes. Keep it's actual dr- money. You know? It's currency. Keep drinking. Uh, and Keep then drinking I have that French like wine. Sudanese nickels or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't <laughs> this know. This motherfucker's portfolio is diverse. Yes, I tried. I have a bunch of Iraqi dinar too. Oh, okay. Yeah. A bunch well, of Iraqi. Yeah, well. just just in case. No. I have actually several million in Iraqi dinar, um, but I <laughs> just saw where the U.S. Treasury um, took over and is helping the Iraqi government so that there is not, because they are switching over to the dinar, mm-hmm. they're getting away from the U.S. dollar, which is fucking great for me. Because <laughs> one day you're going to be like, oh, we had a cool couch to sit on. And I'm going to be like, all right, we're doing this podcast from my helicopter now. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Which sounds um, like a whole lot more fun. <laughs> I does. think so, unless we go fucking Kobe. The whole, you know. <laughs> but that's true. anyway. You so, have to check the weather first. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I wrote a joke about, I forgot about that. I wrote a joke about the weathermen in Oklahoma City and how crazy they are because they they see tornadoes literally. Oklahoma City, you watch it? Yes. I love that guy. His name's Jim something or whatever, um, but he, he literally sees tornadoes, like F5 tornadoes. You see power flashes and everything else. Yeah. What do these fucking crazy rednecks do? Get the fucking helicopter up. <laughs> yep. That's what they do. They literally have a helicopter that parallels the fucking tornado. That's great. And they fly around in that shit with no issues, and Kobe goes down from fog. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, how the fuck does that work? Yeah. Oh, that is fucking amazing. I love it. Okay. Oh, anyway, sorry. God. Uh, but yeah, Anyways. so my Iraqi dinar is going to... Yeah, the, the U.S. is helping them to make sure that they don't have any... Uh, oh, money laundering anyways shit like that so yeah this week's draft is going to be nostalgic things from our childhood that uh today's generation will never experience i love it i get first pick and i I, don't love that uh, yeah i am gonna go with burning cds ah yeah that's a good one by the way we would burn them by downloading MP3s off of LimeWire and Lime and, Napster. and LimeWire. Yeah. No, me and LimeWire and LimeWire will fuck your computer. Yes, up. it will. Holy I still have it downloaded shit. just for old times. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, uh, Steve, you get the next pick. What do you got? Oh, I didn't know I was coming that quickly. Yes, you. Um, you're in the middle, sir. Okay, uh, I am going to say a rotary phone. Damn it, that's a good one. A rotary phone would fuck up anyone from this generation, but I will say in their defense, the equivalent of a rotary phone for this generation is typing your password into Netflix with the remote control. <laughs> that's good. That's that true. That's good. Yeah, that like is that. that is good. Uh, and then JP, you get the championship picks back to back. What do you got? Uh, I'm going to go with the real world. Okay, mm. dude, that was like that was, iconic yep, when it you're happened. right, dude. First the Dave Chappelle were, version of the real world. Was <laughs> that one was even better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, that's good. Uh, 
riding in the back of a pickup truck. Oh, oh shit, yeah. dude, I forgot about that. That was the most freeing, amazing huh. thing on planet can't Earth. can't do that shit anymore, man. No, you can't. You, you can't. can't. It's, you cannot. I, I can't believe this. We used to be a free fucking country, man, oh, and yeah. that now we can't even do that. I hear you. It's, in, it's incredible. Say no to government. That's right. right. How about you, Steve? What do you got? Uh, uh, the I don't know what you call this, but when you have to, um, you're going to try and record a mixtape because it was on the radio, Damn it. and play. you had to hit record and play, play at the exact same time, and then shut the fuck up, as Jeremy <laughs> as Jeremy Rush would say, yeah. which is true, dude. It's fucking true yeah. because yeah. anything you're recording, they're going to get it. On the background. Yeah, yeah. and all the background and stuff. And you're trying to make a tape for some chick. Your sister that has, come in. That has dope-ass oh, fucking leg happen. warmers yeah, on, yeah, right. you know? Damn and it. so yeah. she's hot, and now you got to do that. So that that is my thing there. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's really fucking good. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm upset with that. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I am going to go with um, an anti-skip discman. Okay. You see what okay. I'm saying? That never worked. They but never, yeah, worked. Was, they never skipped worse never than the other ones. Never fucking worked. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. It was the dumbest We're going to do a Walkman, but with a CD, because yeah. that'll be beautiful. It was a Discman, is what they call yep. it. It was to play CD yep. players, and, and the whole idea was like you could shake the shit out of it, and it wouldn't skip. Yeah, That bullshit. is bullshit. bullshit. It would skip every fucking time. Yep. And then I am going to go with the dial-up internet connection. Mm, yeah if your mom got on the phone you're you were sorry fucked. that or these things that you are no these are just things we experience that they, that will. they yeah. will never okay. yep. experience yep. 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 for sure jesus for sure. Yeah. that was the worst i mean the sound the of that sound of that was, was the best it was yeah. it's so nostalgic yeah. but, it is but it like is. If somebody was on the internet and you were trying to make a fucking phone call, it, oh, yeah, you, you're you couldn't, done. Yep, you're done. Yeah. You couldn't make a phone call. Well, here's the worst part. It took you 30 minutes to download a tit. That's true. You know what I mean? And yes. so you've got half the nipple downloaded and your mom, your mom picked picks up the up fucking the phone. phone. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's good. And there goes your connection. Yep. Uh, all right, Steve, what's your next pick? Um, I don't know. Let's see here. I'm going to go with. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, there's the, that's the connection noise. Oh. I was going to say, I was honestly going to say uh, AOL age sex location. Like, no one. ASL. For, yeah, no one from this generation would know what the fuck that means. But if you got into a, a chat slash, room, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. ASL, yeah. age sex location on uh, America yeah, Online. Yeah. And when I, I remember when I first got that CD, you used to have to get a CD in the fucking mail yeah. for America Online. I don't know that this is my answer. I don't think it is, actually. Okay, all right. I don't think this is. It. Okay. But anyway, you used to have to, this is talking more about your shit. You used to have to download that shit to your computer uh-huh. and then have the, the fucking dial-up internet connection, and then you could go into a chat room and meet your wildest dreams come true. <laughs> yeah. There's that age, sex, location, and yeah. it was like, yeah. Uh, so I guess what I'm going to go with is the original Netflix. Netflix. Oh. My favorite part, my favorite part of the reason that Netflix started, because I used to have to deal with this, is if you didn't get your fucking blockbuster movies back by noon, uh, the day after that you rented them, then they charged you for a whole nother fucking day, even if it was 1205. So the people that invented Netflix were like, go fuck yourself. We're going to invent something better that puts you the fuck out of business. And Blockbuster kind of laughed at them because they took it to Blockbuster at yeah. some point. And so then they put up uh, before the kiosks and stuff like that. You had to, uh, I think it was on a paper, I believe. You had to check what you wanted mm-hmm. and they would send you physical DVDs in the mail. Yeah. And that's how Netflix worked. And then it was cool as fuck because the little kiosk was at Walgreens all of a sudden. Yep. And, and then after that, it was like, no, we're, we're and not And Blockbuster doing that actually had the opportunity to buy yes, Netflix. They did. they did. And they said they it did. was a dumb idea. Yep. That's good job. That's how you. Congratulations. Go out of that's yep. right. Yep. Uh, JP, you get two in a row. Uh, pogo balls. Pogo balls? So you don't even Dude. know. Dude. Those were fucking amazing. Yeah, man. they were. They were yeah. awesome, dude. These were amazing. They yeah, were awesome. That's before fat. That's before all the kids were obese. Yes. Like, yeah. That's when we used yeah. to move around. Yeah. It <laughs> okay. was. Um. I, even me, I wasn't even an obese child. I uh, did not start gaining weight until I had to shop in the husky section at thirteen <laughs> years old. Nice. nice. Um. Yeah. It was not a rite of passage. What in the fuck is a pogo ball? It's an inflatable ball. You gotta look it up, ball. dude. It's fucking awesome. It looks almost. It has looks a like handle Saturn. on it. 
Okay. Oh, and you, you stand on it. And oh, jump up and you oh, I, I had that's one of the those. one with the fucking. Okay, I thought you were talking about the one where you jump on that's, it, but yeah, the pogo ball yeah, was actually for cool as shit too. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. Okay, and you get one more. Just the boom box. Yeah, that's that was fucking dope. Dude. Yeah. I mean, I remember the mega blaster. I remember when box. I when I turned 13 years old, my cousin bought me a CD player, mm-hmm. and he bought me the damn Yankees, and uh. Fuck, who was it? It was the damn Yankees, and it wasn't Snoop Dogg. I can't remember who else it was. It was some rapper, and I remember I was like, oh, my God, this is fucking amazing. Yeah. Dude. You can just, yeah, it was awesome. I, don't know. I have two. Okay. Well. But but I'm going to – I'm trying as hard as I can, like, not to go too crazy with this, but I, I'm going to go ahead and pick this. I remember – how fucking cool my stepdad was when he got a car phone. Dude, that thing was badass. Are Did, you talking yeah. about the one the that bag. was actually mounted in yes, the car? Yes, it was that mounted was fucking in the awesome. car. Yeah, that and, was amazing. And it was like, oh my God, I could legitimately call my stepdad anytime yes. I want because yes. he, people would legitimately sit in their fucking cars yep. and, and wait for fucking phone calls. It was yep. ridiculously expensive, yep. I guess, at the time. but Ridiculously yeah. expensive. And so, yeah, yeah that, but dude... I went to school and told all of my friends, my, my stepdad got a car phone, and, yeah. they, and they thought it was the coolest shit in the world. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Okay. Um, uh-oh. I, um, I skipped you, Steve. <laughs> you fucking dick. <laughs> Were you going to pick car phone? No. Okay. Well, I mean, I am now, okay, but damn I, it. I wasn't. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I skipped you. Do uh, I go? How many more do I have? Uh, you have two more total. But I get to go one right now. Yeah, right? one right now. Don't take car phone. <laughs> You're not going to take car phone. Okay. The coolest thing when I was a kid that you could do, like you felt like you were actually growing up, is you got a pager. Damn oh, it. Yeah. Pager's a good one. You got a pager, like oh, yeah. an actual pager. And then you kind yeah. of learn how to, you know, like page boobs and stuff like that. But yes. <laughs> do you remember when pagers had a text feature? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That, uh, but I, I, rem- I'm, I had the first beeper. Like it was oh, just yeah. a beeper. It just yeah. had a number that showed <laughs> yeah. up, yeah, and then you would too. go to a payphone with your pocket full of quarters Call and it. fucking yeah. yeah. It was oh oh I I know what the other one is. Yep, no, go ahead. No, because that was gonna be mine, and I'm not gonna take it because I accidentally fucking got what was gonna be yours. I I think it's what he's gonna pick next. So obviously I'm gonna take car phone as my first pick. You have to. Yeah, uh, but I'm trying. Oh, dude. Pick it if you want it. Just try it. It ain't going to be the same yeah, thing anyway. I guarantee it's not. And I've got it. I'm because dude, I'm, I know I'm 93 years old. I have a thousand things I yeah. can talk about. Go ahead and take what you take think you're going to take. Yeah. What do you think I'm going to take? Uh, exactly. No, I wasn't. No, shit. take it. Just I, do it. No, because I already, I, already have, it. I already have one. Fucking so do I, it. I don't, I don't, I don't want that. Never mind. I don't want. The, I'll give you my honorable mention oh, and go from pussy. there. Yeah, sorry. You better take him to Bolivia with uh, you or whatever. Uh, I'm not good. He's not coming with me. Okay. Bogota, fine. the world's biggest gay bar. <laughs> yeah. He's not coming with me, man. I am <laughs> going. <laughs> Great. Um, oh, damn it. I love how LeBron James is an Olympic athlete for basketball. It's hey, so fucking d- stupid. Hey, man, whatever, whatever works. Kevin Durant. Like. <laughs> Are uh, you going to take something sometime yeah, I'm today? There was only God one God. fucking dream team, and it didn't have Steph Curry on it, I promise. Yeah. All right, anyway. Oh, that's – um, okay, that, that's a good one. That is actually a good one. Okay, I'm going to take um, Looney Tunes is what I'm going to take. Yeah, You're right. I that's did. a great oh, one, holy Scotty. shit. Speaking of Brittany Griner, she was right there. All right. Hey, Snoop. Uh, yep. Yeah, I sa- love it. Saturday, lo- Saturday cartoons, Looney Tunes and shit like okay. that were that you would have to get up in the morning to yeah, watch cartoons. Yeah, that's true. You actually had day. to watch You TV. had to watch them. Yeah. There's yeah. KD. That's right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that. He looks like he's 100 years old. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Dude. Steve, you get your last pick. That's me? Yep. You okay. get your last pick. I am going to say the one thing that – 
KD uh, looks like, like I know, uh, dude. Fucking Jamie looks, Fox did a bunch of crack. It looks like he <laughs> did too much <laughs> Botox right here yeah. or something. It's all fucking swollen. So, yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, anyway, I'm going to go with something that I know no one in this generation will ever have to deal with. And it was when you would call your mom from a pay phone. Yep, that's what it and was. And you would hit the operator and go, hey, mom, it's me. I'm ready to be picked up. And then they would they fucking would hang, hang up because up, you so didn't pay. Have to pay for yeah, it. they didn't pay yeah. for the call. Yeah, yeah. You remember there was a there was a there was a commercial. Yep. That was out, and it was a uh, um, either ten ten like, or or call AT and T, and he was like, yeah, he was like, we, uh, uh, first name Bob, last name we, we had a baby, baby it's eats a, a boy. boy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, it's Bob. They had a baby. It's a boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's the one I'm going with, and I have honorable mentions. Oh, we'll get there. JP better. gets his last pick: music videos on MTV. Fuck, yeah. that is a good pick. That's a good one. Of course that's it is. I picked one. it. That is a good oh, one. That is a very. Shit. You guys wonder why I win these things? It's not uh, luck. Yeah, that's a good. One. I'm sitting between fucking. I I got to I got to Can I change that answer? Yeah, you from can. the payphone. Yeah, what do you I got? want to change that. Go for it. Here's the one thing that was my favorite thing on planet Earth, like literally. It was something I look forward to all the time. My aunt and uncle, um, they had a wood paneled station wagon. Uh huh. Um, they would they would both get large cups of scotch. Yeah. Because uh, everybody did that then, and they would smoke with the windows rolled up, and we would go all the way to the back yeah. of the station wagon, and the fucking thing would face backwards so we could flip off all the people behind yeah, yeah. us. Oh. That was, and then they would drop the window. So in the station wagon, you could drop the window the down, window? and it was just yeah. being loaded with carbon monoxide yeah. fumes <laughs> from the exhaust. And, yeah. and the, but it was better than the fucking chiefs up in the front that were just smoking like fucking, yeah. oh, so bad. Yeah. yeah. And then they would just drink scotch and drive us wherever we were going. That was my True. favorite thing. The way, way back. All right. Yeah. You changed yours. I'm changing mine. We got all the way back because I, I am going with... <laughs> <laughs> it's been a good run, and I appreciate those of you that. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, me. we'll be right back. After this. <laughs> no, I'm changing my AIM. I'm gonna go to AIM. AIM. Mm-hmm. Yeah, AOL so. instant messenger. It's instant same messenger. thing he fucking said. Yeah, he kind of said that. He didn't take it. He took AOL. No, you didn't. No, I just talked oh, about Lord. it. I guess. Okay. You just talked about okay. it. I'm gonna go with AIM because okay. like a vote it. for Scotty is a vote for fucking <laughs> communism. Yeah, yeah. Just so if we're you, sure. Just so we're if clear. you want no. to see if more, you, if you want to see God, more babies die in Palestine, you vote for Scotty. <laughs> oh God, that's so terrible. That's uh, uh, well. You, I, I think that's actually in the, in I was, the Geneva I, Convention. The one that so I was I was almost gonna pick was actually just going to be a payphone. You, whenever you didn't have a cell phone at like after the movie at yep. a movie theater and yep. you needed a ride, you would yeah. have to call yeah. your parents on a pay Dude, phone? you remember when people would leave you a message and not get a fucking return call back for eight hours because yeah. you were at work? Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yes. that was fucking, that's a real thing. Like, yeah. That was real. And I remember when cell phones first came out, there was no internet. No. You made telephone calls. There wasn't yes. even text. You remember, no you remember when people first started texting and they would get charged per text and they were, stop fucking texting. They would yeah. go oh, yeah. ballistic yep. because they didn't want to get a text message it's true that was it's fucking awesome. true i and love that let's go back to that yeah please. Uh, and then and then the, you had to like push the button like five times yep. in order to get the yep. right letter yep the t9 text then well that then they came out with t9 where you just push the button once yeah. and it tried to That's figure true. out what you yeah. were saying but before that if i mean you legitimately had to push that was wild the button three times to yeah. get a c and shit it was a pain yep. in the ass and dope. then it became a huge deal I'm sorry it became a huge deal whenever they had full fucking keyboards on phones yep like the fucking yep. sidekick that yeah Flipped out yep. like a bitch. Out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, hell God. yeah, dude. And everybody was like, "Holy shit, he's got a full fucking keyboard." Yep. God. Dude, Blackberries used to be like they had it. They fucking had it. They did. They were gonna be the best thing ever. They were. And then they were the worst thing and ever. They fucked it up. Yeah, they did. They did. Uh, they did. The Blackberry Pearl. Yep. I don't it. know what that is. Yeah, I, I called it the Blackberry mm. Perv. Yeah. But oh my. Yeah, it's okay. Kamala Harris, let the future begin. I just saw that. <laughs> okay, so, there, you go. Right, there we go. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's draft. The draft of things that today's generation will never experience from ours. Enjoy it. And vote for the list that you like the most. Uh, probably fucking some people that listen to the show don't even know what some of these, what this shit is. No, they have no fucking no clue. No fucking idea. And it's so or sad. that case, vote for me. Yeah, right. Weirdos. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but anyways, you can go to Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or go to X, which is at L O T. What is going on? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 
You can no. you can only no. you can only vote on AOL Instant Messenger for this draft. God damn it! Get that off. <laughs> Jesus. Welcome. Um, <laughs> you've got mail. You've got mail. <laughs> but yeah, you can go and vote. They made uh, a fucking movie about that. Dude, it was the saddest thing. I know. When it, would, so when it, when it went like this, welcome. And you've then nothing. Got, oh, oh, that was so sad. You were the biggest fucking yeah. nerd on your block yeah. at that point. You were like, no, nothing. wait, what? Nobody no sent spam, me anything? No, nothing. And remember when you used to get like email and you'd be like, oh my God, dude, I got an email and you yeah. would read every fucking yeah. letter of it. And now you're like, how do I get these people uh, to stop, stop sending me this shit? <laughs> yeah. Now I don't want to even open up my inbox. Yep. Fuck off. Uh, yes, guys, go and vote. We sincerely do appreciate it. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is, is the though? laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Steve Peters, everybody. I Steve am not Peters. giving you that check. It is going to bounce, sir. I keep telling you that. <laughs> I am not paying. Yeah. Uh, but also, obviously... The you can find me at Steve Peters on OnlyFans. <laughs> you can? Yeah, it's Steve's Peter. Oh, nice. Good deal. Just a yeah. b- bunch of Steve Peter dick pics. I could use at least two more, because they charge me. Um, <laughs> so I could use Here's two more sign-ups at $3 Magnification a Magnification is up to yep. 1000 It's not good right now. <laughs> it's not good. Here's the thing. I did sign up for a month, but I canceled. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me just, eating pizza. Just screenshotted yeah. just, everything yeah. and then yeah. stored it's, it. It's uh, cheese pizza. Yeah. That's, but anyways, uh, also, thank you very much to JP. Dun, dun, yeah. I like that he acknowledged that he's too old for OnlyFans, even though he would probably actually make good money. He probably would. Probably would. Uh, but anyways, yes, this week's uh, Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation, I think, is an actual valid question. I it's love a good it. One. It I is. I love it. Um, would you rather marry a two and be the happiest man for the rest of your life, or... Marry a 10 and be miserable for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with the two. Are you really? Yeah, because I've done the other. <laughs> oh, really? And uh, yeah, man. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going with the two and be happy because, yeah, being miserable and being with somebody that's really hot fucking sucks. It, it, it I've really. Been, I've done it. It really mm-hmm. sucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, they give me a lot of shit. I, I, I uh, will show you guys my exes. I have dated some way out of my league. Absolutely way out of my league. Every woman you've dated, and I'm they, sure. 100%. And the guys. Uh, no, no, no. The guys were horrible. That There's was, all man. Yeah, they were just, they were bad. There's all man again. They, they were more JP's type than, <laughs> than for me. Um, but no, seriously, like, I, uh, I'm i going to go with the two Finger as well. Finger bang is I, going to. I, I am going to go with the two as well because... Um, uh, because I, I'm married a 10, man. I, I, I love my wife, and I'm so fucking lucky. Um, Does but, she listen to this? But if she... If, if she's hot, but, but if she, she's no 10. <laughs> but, I'm sorry. But if she... All, right. all, if she, all of a sudden, if she got into a car accident and just became uglier than shit, I would still, still love her. Yeah, I would still you, love her. You are in a good spot because you have a beautiful wife. Right. And you're happy, right? But if she like right. developed, you know, if she took a swim in the in the uh, you know at the river festival or something like that, and some contracted some chemical in her brain, and she just became retarded, <laughs> I'd still love her to death. <laughs> I'd wipe the drool off of her. I love shirt. that. Yeah. That is his theory. Yeah, That's right. So badass. Yeah. I love God. it. I uh, I have a I have a I have a I have, a, I have <laughs> answer it Steve I have a view here. Um, <laughs> I married a ten, hundred and ten percent. Yeah, and she's been through nine rounds of chemo. All of her hair is falling out. Yep. Um, she puts on wigs though. Yeah. So it's kind of like banging a different chick. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Uh, it's I'll very, take the Susie it's, tonight, it's, babe. It's very thoughtful of her. <laughs> yeah. Um, but she's also chunked up a couple times too. Like she's, you know, long before the cancer, she was like eh, chips and salsa, you know? <laughs> yeah. Which made her boobs bigger, which I like yeah. a lot. Like I like a little more, you know, meat on the bone thickness. Yeah. yeah I'm not a, sure. yeah. But when I met her, she was 
so fucking tiny, dude. And so I kind of like the thickness, and she's constantly fighting the thickness. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going with this. I, a two. I'm, I'm taking the two. That's 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 all I was going to say. Okay. I'm just taking the two. It's okay. The, because a 10 is such an asshole. It's the you know? new, it's right. The Have you ever met a 10 that's just like, oh, my God. You are the sweetest person no. on planet. No. no. I have. And then two weeks into it, you're like, oh, my God. I was wrong. You yeah. are such a piece of shit. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. every single time, that's what happened. Yeah. When you kept so, on when you I, kept on saying something about the thickness, all I could think of was it's the new Disturbed song, Down with the Thickness. There you go. I, just, just yeah. that, I like that. That's good like shit. Uh, so, yeah, I love that. Here's the deal. This is the situation with me. Um, you know, I have a wife that goes to the gym constantly. She's trying to lose weight. She's trying to work out. And then I'm watching BBW porn. <laughs> so it's it's just like give it up. Good deal. You know, just give it the fuck Good up. Good deal. Good deal. Uh, not not I don't I don't I don't I don't like them that big to where they kind of you know give off an odor or something. But I just I like uh, I like you know I like the I like you know little an ass and some big old titties like I, i'm a i'm a big old titty fan like for sure so if she's got a face that you're just like oh god and then like double d's that are good i'm yeah. like i'm not looking at the face anyway yeah put you know what i mean pillow. like it's fine yeah. so yeah we're, we're good Wait. you have a lot of pillows at your house i think you talk about pillows quite often and i'm just like in a normal conversation i'm gay if you have we double have d's pillows. i'm just staring at your tits anyway i'm not i don't care that your face is busted and you're missing all of your teeth in that which case, is a fucking bonus by that, the way you can give a gum job so it's I did date a chick one time that thought I think she thought she was being sexy where she was like, Ugh, like you know, like the little like yeah. rub your teeth on it or whatever. And yeah. I'm like, dude, I, get your fucking cheese grater off my yeah. dick. Like I don't. Yeah. yeah I, I, if, if you're a woman listening to this podcast, no guy ever on earth wants you to suck their nuts so hard that it fucking hurts <laughs> or rub your fucking gnarly ass teeth all over their dick. It's not yeah. sexy. It's not fun. It sucks. We've all had it and I hate it. But it's so bad. Dude. Who- you look like a fucking <laughs> retard. Stop. Take your fucking teeth out. <laughs> Is what we would prefer. I, but if you can't, fold them back like a fucking... <laughs> what is that? Is a shark, right? The sharks fold their teeth back. I, I don't know. Just leave your fucking teeth out of it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, but that. But you're exactly right. You lipless fuck. <laughs> you lipless fuck. I, I don't know why they, they think it's so fucking I hot. I think they think it might be sexy or something where not it's like the, a little like teasy pain or whatever. No, That's not, not the, the place. Not the and, teeth. And, and, and fuck off with my nipples. All right? <laughs> I don't... My nipples are not there to be bit, this twisted, took a turn. fucked with. Stop. Stop. This took a turn. Yeah, but that's Now, not- if you want to rub on the buttholes, fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? You fucking, you know, you, you get a little tongue down. That's fine. We're, we're a little surprised. That's all right. You're good. That's Peek-a-boo. fine. That's fucking fun. That's sexy. It's it's soft. I've never been the type of... I don't understand the people... And, and God bless you, for sure. <laughs> if you want to hook battery cables up to your testicles and fucking stick that in the oven or what? I don't care. Uh, that's amazing. I don't get it. Uh, I do not fucking get it. I feel like sex should be the most pleasurable thing for everyone involved. No matter if, if you're in an orgy, at least it's, you know, if she's like, yeah, I want every whole, all right, that's fine. That's what you like. That's fine. Get after it. You fucking slut. I love it. But if you're just like, I will, thank you. But if you're like, put meat hooks in my back and hang me from the ceiling, you fucking serial killer, go fuck yourself. I don't want my ex. Oh Jesus! I can't. I, I, that's so time. bad. I, I I don't like. I like. I he feel like. You told I feel me like. I, it, I feel it. like it is mutual yeah. pleasure that we we've engaged in, and that's what we're gonna do. I had a chick that oh. I dated for a while. She squirted the whole entire time that we were having sex, <laughs> and she would scrape up my back so bad that I was like, "Bitch, I am going to. I've never hit a woman before, I will hit but you. it's gonna fucking happen. I am gonna choke you the fuck out, and not you in a good way." Um, and I used to have to actually, I used to actually have to have sex with that chick on the floor because it was, I, I just, I, I want to like- ruin my fucking mattress, dude. She was just dude. the whole time. It wasn't just every once in a while. It was the whole time. Yes. Jake. What I'm saying is I'm pretty sure I know how Steve's therapist feels now. <laughs> what I'm saying is I'm going with the two. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Okay. That's, that's, that's just all, all I wanted to say. Okay. Uh, I like the twos a lot better because they're gentle. Yeah. Okay. They're gentle. Yeah. You, you said 
something that just skipped right over, but I just wanted to put in there like women who put your balls in their mouth and suck as hard as possible. They think that's fucking fun, you <laughs> dirty fucking bitch. Stop. Stop. It hurts. That's assault, yes. brother. Yes. That's fuck. I'm getting a PFA against you if you fucking suck on my nuts that hard. Do you understand? It happened to Felix Johnson. Your fucking nuts can get twisted in your fucking ball bag. It can kill you. It can fucking kill you. It shuts off all the blood to that shit. Your nuts fucking swell up like a basketball. You don't want to be the reason for that, you dirty bitch. You just don't want to be the reason for that. It's not sexy. Fucking stop. I know that there there is a broad that's listening to this podcast podcast right now going oh my god i was doing it wrong the yes, whole time yes. thank you steve peters yeah for telling me exactly oh. what i needed to do differently jp fucking stop <laughs> you, oh. oh that guy sucks all right if anybody if anybody who's listening to this and they're watching jp is he is enamored with these pole vaulters <laughs> this one kind of looks like a chick it's i feel like i JP, think he looks like a lesbian i feel like jp watches this and the Nathan's hot dog eating contest and gets <laughs> off way. the whole entire yeah. fucking time. It's the same premise. Uh, God, I feel like I've just gone on this weird fucking... I'm, so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel like I've just captured you, this if thing. If you thought the first part of this episode was anticlimactic, by God, God, well, by the you, end of it, we got to do something. Glad you stuck you gotta around. You got to save it. My you know? goodness, excellent. Look, I'd All like right, to say so I've had a lot of fun on the show. <laughs> <laughs> what about a four? What about a four? Is no, that an option? That wasn't an option. Not an option. Okay, I'm still going two. Okay. We're all going with two. Here's the deal: it's a, unanimous. A, two, a two is going to be calm. A two, you're going to walk in the house at the end of the day, and a two is going to be like, "Hey, babe." I'm pretty sure he I'm, was the one that was like, let's I'm, wrap this shit I'm up. So, <laughs> I'm so fucking ugly, I didn't want to leave the house, so I made you cookies But by, all day. By golly, she's going to make you a sandwich. For sure. 100%. For sure. 100%. For sure. She's just a sweet human oh. being, and she has nothing to... A 10 has been catered to, <laughs> yeah. and she expects things. She's like, oh, well, I don't buy my drinks at the bar. Know, and it's like, no, I want to date a chick. you've ever been catered to, to have you? All right, so much for that. But anyways, ladies anyway, and gentlemen. Anyway, what I'm saying is a two. I'm going with a two. <laughs> got it. A two all day. I got it. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to another excellent episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. <laughs> If you haven't already, please yep, do me she's a favor. Yeah. My wine dick is going to be huge. <laughs> <laughs> I drank all of the French wine. Do us a favor. Drop a comment if you haven't already and a like. That helps the show very much, especially considering now that we are not getting paid to do this show. We're just doing it just for fun and for you guys' entertainment. So that's why you paid. love us. No. I was told I was getting paid. <laughs> well, they. <laughs> you, I wouldn't have done that. The, I yeah. wouldn't have done that stuff with JP on the porch <laughs> if I didn't know I was getting Sorry, paid. Just marking, Motherfucker! I'm just, all over I'm me, just man. marking JP up. But as we always like to like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us, we hope you look up "fuckstick" in the Urban Dictionary, and it's a picture of you. <laughs> 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 if you don't like us, tell your enemies. But until next time, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtle Heroes power. in a Half Shell, Turtle Power. Until next time, keep, keep laughing, laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care. Bye! <laughs>